Uh, hello, hello. My name is Garrick, and tonight we're sampling Liberty or Death, the American Insurrection by Harold Buchanan and GMT Games, the fifth game in the coin series. Uh, I am playing tonight as the Patriots, playing as my uh, uh, unhappy wife is Drew. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're doing voices, damn it. How do you go? <laughs> Where would I have an audio echo? Hold on. Uh oh. <laughs> you got to do that French accent again. <laughs> that was pretty good. God, that was pretty terrible. Oh, it was. It was the viewer. <laughs> All right. Uh, continuing with this, uh, playing as the British is Hector. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> and playing as the Indians is Badger. Oh, don't no. get us again. Yes, no, no. What am I gonna do? Yeah, no. <laughs> don't don't do anything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> uh we are playing the medium scenario. Uh because I saw a BGG post where Harold said it was his favorite, and we didn't have anything better to go off of, so here we are. <laughs> Uh, did we say we were going to go over the rules? Because I spent today learning them, so we wouldn't have to. But if people need that, I guess we can go over them. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't know how to play this game. Oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, I, I, uh, you know, it's a coin game. I can figure it's it out. It's a coin game. But... Yep. <laughs> coin game. <laughs> One of the biggest things is that if you play your pivotal event, you wipe out the card that you play it on. Okay, yeah, that's um, that's pretty standard pivotal stuff. I think Pendragon is the only game where it just pushes the old card back. Which I like, but I think everything else does a different way. Or this way, I should say. Um, what else? Do we have the... Oh, yeah, there it is right there. Battle procedures. Battle procedures, yeah. That if you guys feel comfortable with the battle procedure, I can figure it out as we go because I will not be involved in any battles for a long time. <laughs> it that's true. It actually doesn't <laughs> seem complicated to me from when I read it. I mean, I'm sure it's going to feel different when we actually play, but no, it's it's pretty mm -hmm. easy, especially if you have people experience with it. It's it goes by quick. It's more about the it's more about your modifiers than anything in a lot of ways. Yeah, that's true. Well, then why don't we um, just dive into it? Unless anyone has anything else we should go over. Okay. Uh, do you understand the, the victory conditions and how you win? Yeah, why don't you cover those real quick, Hector? Uh, yeah, sure. So um, in this game, it's split into two teams. Uh, uh, French and American or Patriots are on one team and then Indians and British are on one team. So uh, the... Each person has two win conditions. One is the primary one, which is to win the war of independence. And how you win is basically have your total support or opposition um, equal 10 more than the other other factions. So, uh, and Ooh, that's if, that, cool if that is true during uh, the win condition check, then the war ends and those two people are eligible to win. Now, from those two people, they have a secondary win condition, um, and it's different for each of us. Uh, and it, it really makes sense if you think of it as like the secondary win condition is how well you're set up post-war. Um, a good example of that is like the Indians, uh, their secondary win condition is they have to have uh, more villages, or sorry, uh, more villages than the Patriots have fort, forts plus three. Um, easily, you could calculate it here. Uh, here, uh, they are behind by three points. So right now, they have a score of negative three. And then yep. once they build vid uh, villages, as soon as they surpass the number of forts, their uh, secondary condition goes up. So, uh, you know, represents um, e if the loyalists win the British and the Indians, uh, all the Patriots forts that are on the land are going to be British forts. And then thus the Indians are going to be in, in a precarious situation. Um, even though the Patriots lost the war, 
uh, the British are in a good position to kind of push westwards, something like that. Um, the Americans are kind of the opposite of the Indians' secondary condition. Uh, it's just the number of forts they want to... I don't know how to explain this. So, like, they want to have... Um, uh, Patriots forts plus three is greater than villages. And that's how you calculate their secondary score. Um, okay. Me and yeah, you drew... Three more forts than villages. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, exactly. Uh, me and you... Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, and... Uh, kind of the same. Uh, what we want to do is we want to inflict as much casualties <laughs> to each other <laughs> because this is not the only front we're we're fighting. You know, the French and British just hate each other, and this is just like one war in the worldwide kind of conflict that they're having. And so, I want to win this war with you suffering more than I do. And how that plays out is um, every time we kill a cube or a fort we will uh, calculate the, them as casualties, and the difference between our casualties will determine our score. So right now... Oh, that's what CRC and CBC is. That's right. Yeah. Combined yeah. rebellion casualties. Okay, got yeah. it. That's right. Uh, so right now, I have a positive score of two in my secondary condition. And then you have... I see. Yeah, yeah, because there's, yeah. there's three. Yep. So not only do you want Garrick to um, kill uh, or inflict more casualties because it uh, raises your French prep and allows you to enter the war, but it also helps you with your secondary win condition. So you will have to be asking um, Garrick to show, you know, show you that he could win this war. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it, it's, it a to me. it's a really, really cool dynamic how both both the French and Americans want to win the war, but the French want to do it bloody and Americans want to do it bloodlessly and, and vice versa. Yep. The, the British and Indians want to win the war, but, you know, the, the Indians want uh, to be in a strong position and the, the British want to, you know, not suffer casualties. It's cool. Huh. I like it. Yeah, that is cool. Some good tensions there. Yeah. Or... So, um, and I guess, did you look up your French prep and how you actually had established yourself so you could enter the war? No. Okay, um, that's fine. So right now, before the Treaty of Alliance, you're limited to your command to basically these three <laughs> right these two yep. commands and oh gosh i asked my girlfriend how to pronounce this because she is knows french a little bit um does anyone yeah, want i'm not to gonna try it, so i'm gonna just say Pre the prepare la guerre. War. oh nice job mm, prepare for garrick is what i'm seeing right here <laughs> indeed <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so uh, this one basically helps the uh, Patriots by placing their units on the board. This one gives them money. Um, right. But this one is going to be the thing that allows you to uh, one, uh, put out French squadrons, which before TOA is basically your money generation. Um, after TOA, after you enter the war, these things will become really strong blockades that go go out and block um, cities and, you know, block the British from moving around cities and stuff like that. Um, yep. yep. So, uh, additionally, it will allow you to bring French regulars from unavailable to available. And for every French regular you put out, it will increase prep, your French prep value. Um, okay. In addition cool. to every time a British casualty is, uh, you know, inflicted on me, it also raises it one. Uh, once it's at 15, once that's 16, sorry, uh, you have the option to play this brilliant stroke. It works yep. exactly like the brilliant stroke, um, that we all have, except it can't be trumped. Um, so you just cancel a card that is up and you follow the directions on the card. Right. And you're you're in the war. So like any um 
you really don't have any command or special command that brings stuff from unavailable to available once you're in the war. So you have to make yeah, sure so you, you kind of have to commit what you're sending across the Atlantic and then you're kind of stuck with it. Yep. Yep. And uh, that is cool. It's also pretty interesting because you want a special activity. This this prepare for war is pretty important for you. Um, and so you're going to have to play the sequence of, of play so that you're not always giving, you know, the royalists a good turn. Right. Very it's yeah, it's it's very interesting. So you're you're gonna have to deal with that. Um but that's that's pretty much it. Uh I think everything else we could kind of explain as as we go. Yeah, I was gonna say the only other things that I like remember noticing when I skimmed the rule book like two months ago, uh, but don't actually remember the details for are the battle procedure and the leaders, but since I don't have any of those yet and probably won't for a while, I think I can, we can just dive in and I'll figure it out um, as we go. Yeah, yeah. Those so are easy. They'll, they'll, they'll come up, I'm sure. I, it looks like this scenario has set us up for a pretty big battle out of the game. <laughs> so we'll probably... Yeah, I, I was going to say, <laughs> I'm sure we'll be diving into the battle procedure very soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, do not uh, neglect the West Indies as the French. You don't necessarily have to be all in there, but it can be useful. A useful yeah. diversion. It's also oh, yeah, fun. I remember this. Yeah, so I remember this has, like, something to do with, like, uh, British, the British economy or something like that, right? If yeah, I that's where allocate five squadrons there. Our economies, yeah. It's oh, basically it's whoever controls oh, the state yeah, yeah, that's right. five resources. So it's a 10 resource swing, which is pretty big, but I also don't want to commit so much that, right. you know, I And it's a good place to, you can't, you, it's a good place to, to generate casualties where it can be. Yes. So. Also, one thing to note about this, and we're probably like jumping the gun, but it's a free battle every winter quarters. Every winter. Yeah. I keep forgetting that. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Cool. So a battle will happen there. <laughs> what are what are these squadrons doing here since Treaty of Alliance has not been played yet? Uh they that's they don't part really... of the prep. You you can you can send them to the when you bring them on, they come in here. Oh, okay. Got and it. then So they're just sort of sitting there guarding French really deal with the Indians. I oh, I see, I see. Squadrons are placed here when moved from unavailable and when not yep. deployed as a blockade. So there's just like their holding area. So essentially I have two that are available and one that's unavailable. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Well, who we don't know who's up first. Yeah, we gotta draw the cards. And uh Rain Might said that I nailed the pronunciation, so now we all know how to say it. Ooh. Uh-oh. Oh, Starting off that doesn't sound good. <laughs> yeah. And then I... If you want to look at the leader capabilities, there's like a quick god in between us. Um, <sighs> seems like a good card. Who's next after me? I'm um, Oh yeah, I remember. I remember liking the leader change mechanic when I looked through it mm -hmm. a while back. Like how the generals change under certain circumstances, except for Washington. I would hate to give. Okay, I will go ahead and take. A command only. It, this is super juicy, but to give um, uh, the Patriots a special in command kind of sucks. Okay. Uh, command only. And, ooh, do we have the pawns? We do. So give me one quick second here. Uh, regulars in one city or adjacent to colony. Cool. So this is one. This is uh, 
wow, I don't have Boston. That nope. Yeah, this is after this is after Bunker Hill and Washington putting his cannons up there and forcing you out. Okay. Uh, I think it's just going to be these two then. All right, one resource per space, um, and then I get to place six regulars. I'm going to put four here. I'm going to put three here. Then I get to place two Tories in selected cities or colonies, not at active opposition. Um, so. Is it two Tories per space, or I could only put two Tories? For muster? It looks to me like it's two Tories in any uh, spaces that you selected and paid for. The, the regulars that... is just one city, but the, re the Tories seem like everywhere that you marked. Yeah. Right. Okay. And then um, I'm going to... Rep I guess I'm making New York... Yeah, all right. I'll replace three, one, three British cubes with one fort. Okay, that is me. Yeah, the must, the British muster is pretty strong. I get to basically throw out all my cubes out there. The limitation like is actually I don't have a lot of available cubes. Hmm. Badger, you're supposed to be my emotional support. You're supposed to be like, <laughs> good move, bud. Yeah, yeah. No, was that a good move? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> oh, it's, it's this pen dragon all over again. If it scares the Americans, <laughs> it does scare me. I'm just me. trying to hang out and build villages and let you guys beat each other over the head. So we start with so few resources. It's interesting. That's why you have French friends. Indeed. <laughs> you can call them that. <laughs> That's. I'm pretty sure I want to just pass. Yeah, I mean, first up, next card. Yeah. I'll happily take that event if you let me. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy to work with you. I'll take the command and special and you take the, the event. That seems like a pretty good teamwork there. Oh, man. I didn't even look at the... No okay. <laughs> 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 Wait, 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 where do I want to? I'm going to do a gather. Um, I can do here one plus number of villages. That's that. Nice and now easy. Now we're done. Now we can advance the cards. Oh, what the heck? What, what has happened? That I wasn't going to touch something and I immediately. Immediately did. Uh, Steve, me. Steven's strategy. We were playing the medium scenario. Um, what is it? British returns to New York or something? Yeah. Huh. Oh. Huh. huh. It's basically after the British were run out of Boston and they came back with a vengeance and ran Washington out of New York and almost ended the war. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take a command and special. Uh, and let's figure out what we're going to do. 
Um, oh, that's a heck of an event right there. Yeah. Nothing we can do about it, though. Nope. Best buddy. <laughs> <laughs> The thing that I haven't fully grokked is the specials are, they're weird because they're all like sort of perpendicular to the commands. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and also one big change. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I was going to say one big thing about this game is you could interrupt your command for a special activity um, and then continue on with the command. So your special activity could pretty much be any time, even in the middle of the command. Is that, Ooh, that's interesting. Is that rare? Is it normally before or after only? I, um, I if, thought you could like never interrupt the command. That is true in a lot of coin games, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think the only exception that I'm aware of is in Falling Sky, you can do stuff in the middle of a march. Mm -hmm. But all the other commands in Falling Sky have to be fully resolved before you insert special abilities. Like you can do multiple different commands, but you can't put a special ability inside the bounds of a command, except for marches. Yeah. But it sounds like that's different here, which is cool. What do you mean perpendicular? By perpendicular, Garrick? Garrick, do you mean like. They're not accomplishing the same goal. It's like yeah, it's okay. like like battle, but then you could persuade for resources, right? Kind of like like they're not additive onto any of the the actions or anything. They're all just like you can do whatever you want, and then you can also do whatever you want, just in different oh, ways. Wow, yeah, all of your commands have any special ability attached. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that in a coin game. Usually there's some restrictions. Oh, that's yeah. true for everybody. All of these are Yeah, it's super weird. I was I was No no, the the British have some restrictions. It's even me out a little bit. And so do the the Indians. Okay. But yeah. Both the the Patriots and the France are just like <laughs> you can do whatever you want plus whatever else you want. We picked the wrong factions, Garrick. <laughs> <laughs> so many possibilities. Oh, no. Um. Go ahead and re like definitely take the time to read through your options, but um, you can never go wrong with the rally and persuasion. <laughs> rally to get troops out and then persuasion to get money. Yeah, I'm thinking about this whole New York problem right now, uh, yeah. and I feel fine not taking persuasion because Drew is probably going to do what we talked about and take the event, which is going to give me resources. So I can maybe just like skirmish to be annoying in here. Yeah, but then it's a question of what oh. else I'm, am I going to do. Here's well, the thing, Drew. You my, might have... my options are <laughs> if I have a limited command, I have two options. And one is to give Garrick resources. <laughs> uh, and the other is to uh, place Patriot Militia at Continental. So I am definitely taking that event. <laughs> Unless you really want Continental somewhere. <laughs> nope. Uh, I think the event is fine. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think you have anything to worry about. Yeah. yeah, the the um, I, I'm not commenting. Yeah, the, French, like... the French agent mobilization one too is it's not tricky. You just have to pay attention. Um, it only works in the certain. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, like little yeah. yeah, Quebec, New York, New Hampshire, yeah. and Massachusetts. If if not at active support. Yeah. One thing about this game is that there is a lot of historical imperative at work in terms of Washington needs to have an army in the field. Yeah, if, I'm, I'm sort if of... If he doesn't have an army in the field... I'm trying to figure out what the done. best way yeah. to amass some forces are, because it feels like my rally is pretty weak individually. 
Um, mm. And maybe that's just because I'm thinking yeah. of it strictly in the context of how do I get stuff to Washington. Uh, yeah, that's that's true. I mean, uh, you know, Fort. I mean, I could. Yeah, like I'm definitely gonna Fort. rally in Massachusetts if I rally. I will. I will also say not. I think this is a good idea, but um, oh, no, the I, French are probably be pushing in to do the special activity. Um, and one of their commands allows you to place things on the board, the command we just talked about. So yeah, I was going to say, if you really are worried about your muster or your whatever it's called in this game, your rally, then French agent mobilization, I can spend a resource to place two militia or a continental. And specifically, New York is one of the options. So if you're worried about this. That is interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. And then that allows him to play his... Oh, prepare for Garrick <laughs> which he needs to do <laughs> Constantly. I, I, Constantly. I don't know if you guys were expecting this but I am definitely going to call it that all game <laughs> <laughs> uh oh it's also really funny that Garrick is getting into war games now <laughs> <laughs> Just living up to your name, baby. <laughs> In French. In French. <laughs> and and also Spanish. Probably Italian too while we're at it. All just all those romance languages. <laughs> One resource per space Oof. selected. Yeah, I guess this is also the downside of starting with a medium scenario. So you're just like in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's interesting. It's very interesting. I normally I feel like that's kind of an upside because you don't have to like you don't have to think through like how do I build up so as to not have like a really terrible position once we get to this stage. At least everything's like you know kind of. Mm. Roughly even ish. Feels like a waste not to also rally at Charlestown just because I have a base there. Maybe I can slowly sweep an army up the, up the coast. You got a lot of pieces, so. Yeah. How much money? Oh, you have three resources? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's why you gotta take the event! <laughs> yeah, this is really interesting already. Um, oh, man. Uh, oh, man. Chugule, yeah. British and Indians have both, both played before. <laughs> Patriots and French are new. So, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> it's gonna be something. <laughs> it's gonna be something. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna go with those three. Um, so if I'm reading this right, I just place a militia in New York. Uh, in Massachusetts, uh, we're placing uh, a militia. No, instead, militia up to population plus forts. Yeah, that one. So, so three. Three. Yeah. It's a lot of militia. Is it? Doesn't feel like a lot. These spaces are too small. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be using the overflow, you, you especially in overflow Massachusetts. Overflow. Yeah, you could do this if you want. There's you just enough room right now, but like the moment we add any more, that's gonna change. <laughs> oh, I'm taking Massachusetts next turn. So. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, sir, we have problems. You're damn right we have problems. You started the problems. <laughs> no taxation without representation, sir. Uh, okay, and then we <laughs> are going to do our special activity in here. As I alluded, we're just going to skirmish there. I think uh, we'll remove... Uh, a British cube, or two British cubes and a continental. Um, I don't know the math for knowing which is 
better yet. I was just going to say, now might actually be a good time. Do two for if one. If you don't already know the battle procedure, Garrick, to like oh. at least get an overview of it, because I sort of loosely know it. Uh, I don't like. I don't have the math fully internalized. Because um, like he could go do a battle right now here in theory, yeah. and I don't know if that would be devastating or kind of even or. But you know, I, th- I okay. think just based on numbers, it would be kind of devastating. <laughs> so the most important. Uh, I guess calculation you need to do is your force level or basically how many dice you get to roll. Yeah. Um, cubes are one and uh, cylinders are a half. Um, you divide that number by three um, and that's how many dice you get to roll. So right now, if you so decide Garrick's rolling to one die, it sounds like one dice, I will be rolling three dice. Uh, maximum of three dice is the yeah, is the rule. Um, okay. So yeah, so it's a one to three currently right now. Um, there are some modifiers that come into effect. One, uh, if half of my cubes are regulars, uh, regulars are the red cubes or the French white cubes. They're like the professional soldiers. Um, Continentals do not count as regulars. So if they're if you're fighting, um, if half your cubes are regulars, you get plus one. Um, if you are fighting with a leader, that's plus one. I think George Washington itself. Okay, yeah. It, when defending gets uh, mo- a good modifier uh, as a defender. And then if there's a fort, it's also good modifiers. And these are mm-hmm. modifiers to so the dice rolled, not the number of dice, right? Yeah, uh, that's right. The dice rolled. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then... The modifiers with the dice roll total will be your loss level, um, and so you will remove pieces based off the loss level up to that amount. Um, and basically, uh, cubes are two, and sorry, um, cubes for with, with the exception of Tories are two, and forts are two. Everything else is one. Okay. Yeah, but uh, right now I think you should focus on just the number of dice you're rolling, um, and and I guess the modifiers because uh, they're pretty big too. But right now are I they D sixes or it looks D3s. like D threes? <laughs> yeah, they're D threes on a D six. Yep. Magic. Okay, so okay, if so yeah, want, the, range, the, the range right of now. the range of losses is like anywhere from one to. Eight-ish. Yeah. Mathematically, okay, it seems like the best thing is just to remove the one cube and not diminish my die roll capability. Uh, yeah, because just... it, it looks like that will kill a die, actually, because he's yeah. got exactly nine cubes. Oh, no, no, no. The, the Indians are providing a die as well, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so you would need I do to have if he, Yeah, if he flips them up, and then I'll yell at him. <laughs> yeah, I... How many cubes do you place, Drew? Uh, I can either place one Continental or two Militia with French agent mobilization. Mm. So it's going to get you nothing. Yep. Yeah, I'm just wondering if it's too... Other than meat shields. It's not going to get you any, any new dice, is what I should say. I'm wondering if it's too foolhardy to rally. It just feels lousy to, to run away immediately. Well, what yeah. can you rally onto the board is the real question. What does your rally do? I did rally or already. This is, this, is, replace- this is what's You rallied placed. already? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Also, you're able to replace How do you get Continental? Militia with Continentals at one spot. Oh, did I miss that part? Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, he needs out of all the spaces uh, you pick, like... if a space has a fort, you're able to uh, change all the Militia to Continentals, which is pretty good. Yeah. That's, no in, good. The, that's in the Not rally. In New um, York, though, unfortunately. Yeah, but that means I could turn these four into... Continent. Into real boys. Yeah, that's yeah. all right. That immediately feels a lot better. You might want to keep one militia. Oh yes, Badger, one hundred percent right. Uh, that's yep. actually a small one. That's a really easy plus one modifier to battles. Is if yep. you have an underground one. militia. Yep. 
Yeah, good good call out. Oh uh, yeah yeah yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. This is any militia. And okay. that's why we're fine with that. Face down militia also are never in danger of dying. So Yeah, I coming off of the Pendragon game, I I forgot like cylinders have to deal with the hidden activated stuff. <laughs> and it's kind of a pain in the butt to to you know root out the face down cylinders. Um, do you always roll at least one die, or can you roll? You no can dice? roll no dice. You roll can roll dice. zero dice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So in that in that case, it definitely yeah. is not worth removing a continental in New York to get rid of two. Yeah, we'll just remove one cube. Uh, and is that my choice or is that British choice? Uh, I think it's it would be your choice based on the way it's worded. It just says remove one cube. You're the one doing the the skirmish special abilities. So then I probably want to remove a regular because they're the bigger boys, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. And actually, that does put them down to two dice uh, because if they... Well, at least they're either going to have two dice or they have to activate both of the Indians and then they get three dice, but then they don't get the hidden uh, militia modifier. Yeah. Do war parties count as underground pieces for that? Yeah, it looks like they do. Yes. So yeah, that that's like just enough to make a difference. So it feels worth. Yeah, I'm feeling okay about defending this position. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, and Chugale has a something about George. Oh, okay, that must be on his card. The opponent gets a minus one modifier because when one. you have leaders, it yeah. they automatically apply like a plus one or minus one, basically. Oh, is that just a general leader thing? Okay. Um, at least one defending leader nice. is plus one yeah. to attacker loss level yeah. modifiers. At least one Washington attacking leader gets a, an additional uh, one if uh, he's defending. Uh, he reduces, yeah, that's right. Yes, that's he right. reduces he reduces patriot losses basically. Yeah. He's very good at uh, running away <laughs> efficiently. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. Good job, George. Yeah, I'm feeling okay with this, realizing that I've got oh, these scary. continentals Yeah, dude, over here. I'm supposed to be fighting farmers. What's this continental bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> um, All right, cool. Oh, sorry. No, I was yeah. gonna. I was gonna talk with you real quick, Drew. Like, uh, I think I'm okay with you still taking just the event, um, but I'm not opposed to I, you, like. Did you I already know. spend your resources? No, I did not. Are you at zero? Yeah, if you're at, yeah, we need money. <laughs> you need money. Yes, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So yes. I'm gonna take the event. <laughs> He's okay with you doing Wait, why the did event. I have... Like, he's already yes. talking. Like, <laughs> he's a country. That's right. <laughs> All right. So then I get two, and you got uh, three, right? And then we're good. Uh, uh -oh. yep. All right. Uh, on to the next I'm one. I'm already missing that Comitati's bank. <laughs> hey, it's a Declaration of Independence. Oh, dude. Ooh. If we trump that, they automatically lose, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chugale, I'm, I'm still wrapping my brain around this, but this already seems really cool. Uh, okay. So, up, up. Passive support. That seems pretty good. But I kind of want to battle. Yeah, I think when today is going to be able to do that. Um, I'll do command and special activity. Uh, could only battle one spot. That seems bad. Um, you can only battle. Well, why? I mean, there's <laughs> there's a continental in New York City. Yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah, I'll, I will do that. So oh, I don't have money. What? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, Badger can just Badger's at zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I uh, love so much that the Indians start with zero resources and most of their actions don't cost any. It's so cool. Holy smokes. I got to take the event. You're go for it, Indians. Um, <laughs> I would, I would two and colonies, two and level. And do your naval pressure thing. Things are all neutral anyways. So, like, why would he even do passive support? Man, this game is difficult. <laughs> I control this, by the way. This game is very difficult. No, I'll just pass. Wait, no, I'm not. <laughs> this is that's this is one. okay. That's the most emotion I've ever heard. Badger emote. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will. I will just command and special activity. I will um, command here. I guess I'm commanding there. For my special activity, I could use Common Cause, which in one space, British may utilize one or more war parties as if they were Tories. So, basically, these war parties will become cubes for the cause. I think I'm actually going to only use one. One, two, three. No, I'll use two. Uh... Yep, that's it. And then so we could go ahead and <laughs> do battle here, I guess. <laughs> no, let's do the big one first since it's going to be the first battle. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's do lost level. I have a. So one thing to note is I could only use Tories in an attack if uh, they accompany a British regular one to one. Yes. yes. So there's five Tories, basically, um, and there's five regulars. I'm good there. Um, that is 10 of a force level, which is three dice. So loading up the three dice. Wait, wait, five Tories? Yeah, yeah he's so, treating the he's treating the Indian war parties oh, as Tories using common cause. It's my special activity. Yeah. I see. Got it. Cool. So my cannon is loaded um, for you. Uh, Air cannon. You just have one dice. Yes, I just have uh, one. Die. I didn't know if you wanted to yeah. go through the calculation for Drew. And yeah, the definitely. Sake, or... So you have three continentals. Um, and if you yep. want to flip over the militia, you can, but it uh, doesn't get you an extra die. Yep. So force level of three divided by three is one, one dice. Yep. Um, and then yep. I like to and actually use ten, a modifier. So divided by three is three. Okay. That's right. I actually do the modifiers before you roll, if that's okay. Sure. Okay. Um, so starting with the attacker uh, side, which is um, this one, um, my loss level modifiers will be. Uh, wait a minute. Did I do this wrong? Attackers, defenders. Yes, I'm just going to do my modifiers here. So we will do. The, I have to calculate. You, you want to calculate the defender loss level. Using right. as from the attacker's perspective, right? Okay, so I will use this counter then just to make it easier because the dice will fire over. Huh, a little complicated. Uh, at least half of my attacking cubes are regulars. Um, I don't have a side piece underground because I think they're considered Tories now yeah. for like all intents and purposes. Uh, well, I have and, and they're activated, activated them yeah. to get a die anyway, right? Yep. Uh, I do have yep. one attacking leader because I'm leader using and then, and then it'll be minus one for the for GW. So you go back to one for the GW. Wait, isn't so there's a leader present, so it's minus one, right? Uh, no, it's just the it's not defending. It's it's defending with Washington. So it's minus one. You're looking at the defender loss level right now. True. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, right, right. I see. Yeah, we're doing attacker. Got it. I do got plus one. And then we go to the attacker loss level. Uh, uh, are half your defending cubes regulars? Nope, because they're continentals. You do have a piece underground. Um, you do have a leader. Oh, I see. That's where. Yep. Double and okay. there is no fort. I'm not defending a blockaded city. So you have the modifier advantage, but I have the dice advantage. Yep. Let's see how this shakes out. Um, as the attacker, I get button privileges. Yes, you do. <laughs> and every time I attack, I'm definitely <laughs> using that. Make ready. All right, here we go. 
this is gonna extend the game. Like <laughs> oh, that's a lot of ones. All right. All right. <laughs> five. Hey. Five, five to four. my four. Yeah, five to your four. Uh oh. <laughs> um, and then so we remove. Uh, you have to alternate. Hold on, the battle's not over. It's still playing. Yeah, I, yeah. There's. <laughs> I can't stop. All right, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically the removal priorities That's are you have to remove cubes, and then oh, once yeah. all the cubes are removed. Well, actually, no, I'm sorry. It's you remove it's cubes, cubes, alternating. Yeah. Yep. You guys are we'll, rolling the wrong color dice. Yeah, we did. We'll, we'll flip it next gone. time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you have to remove forts. So for me, I'll start. I get to all. No, I, I think what happened is it sounds like Garrick just did a shit ton of losses with all these blue dice. <laughs> <laughs> I this mean, Garrick's roll, right? It's it's five to four, so it's pretty close either way, Drew. Yeah. Uh, no, because this is this is <laughs> the modern. Well, all right, Drew, right, stop, right. stop. <laughs> <laughs> You're confusing, yeah, you're confusing uh, poor Hector. I am very confused right now. <laughs> uh, I'm making a dumb joke. Just ignore me. <laughs> so two plus two is four. So I have to lose. I have a loss. At least level. four. So you're going to lose. You're going to end up losing five. Five, mm -hmm. five. You're right. So I have to alternate between a yep. regular and a Tory. So I will kill regular. Kill a Tory. That's three lost <laughs> level. Yes. I will kill a yes, regular. Tory. I see uh, where this uh, is going. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, okay, so the casualties for this goes here. Um, we'll do all the casualties and then we'll add them together so we don't forget. Yep. All right, and then yep. you go ahead and lose five. So that's two. Yep, that's five. Uh, militia, don't go there. Don't yeah, I just can only move yep. so much at once. And so I am increasing the casualties by two for each team. Huzzah! Um, then we go ahead and trigger win the day. Uh, if you lose a cube or fort and two plus pieces, um, the winner actually gets to shift support and opposition by half the number of pieces lost by the loser. So you did lose a cube uh, and you yeah. lost three pieces yep. so uh half of that is rounded down i believe is one so i get to increase support by one the people have seen me victorious and i jump into the cause wait 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 wait, wait. shouldn't it have been um the militia was still face down right mm -hmm. Garrick didn't. Um, oh, he didn't. Yeah. Yeah, he okay. didn't activate it. So he should end up losing the third. You're right. You're right. Yeah, because my, my militia was face down. I didn't activate it. Can yeah, he so lose just... the third cube, though? Because they cubes take two losses and you only did five. Yeah, you, you have to lose at least. Extra. Yes, you have to lose at least your loss level. So you can end up losing. That's how, that's how the British ended yeah. up losing. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to increase it by one. Wait, but and so this is like six. This is six, I don't know, points of health, and there were only five losses. So do you have to yes. take partial losses if you can? Yes, you have to lose at uh, least your loss level. Once you exceed your loss level, then you're done losing. You're fine. I see. Okay. okay. Um, still, half of this rounded down or is one. So I have increased support by one. Um. Yeah, that's that's the battle. Uh, we do have a battle over here for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> so I have two dice. All right, and then you have zero dice. Yep. So I think the modifiers are going to be plus one. Because I have regulars and then plus another because I'm attacking with a leader. Uh, you do not have any modifiers on your side. It also doesn't matter. So it's firing. 
<laughs> yep. Okay. He is... That guy got obliterated. <laughs> yes, he is very dead. All right, I'm going to increase the CRC. Yep. And that is my turn. Well done, everyone. <laughs> Especially me. <laughs> I will pass and take the money. All right. Oh, I'm back here. Because I think I'm going to get a good one this time. Nice. Ugh. And here we are. You just poop out pieces. Jesus. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Write your silly document. It's just a piece of paper. <laughs> I don't think there was a... Let me see. Chugule doesn't think there was a, a, seize, a win the day or whatever there. Oh. Um, so if the loser removes a cube or fort and two plus pieces, we shift the support opposition by half the number of pieces lost by the loser. Yeah, I think he's saying that there was no loser. Because loser is oh, defined. Oh, because it was three. Yeah, it was three to three. Yeah, yeah. Winner is the side losing the fewest pieces, unless one side's eliminated. Yeah, yeah uh, there was no. It was a yeah. defender yeah. is the winner if equal. Well, shit. Good, good catch. So yeah. I guess actually, Garrick. Won? I guess I. I guess I knew that before when I was looking at the. And you just didn't want to I, say anything. I see no, how I, it is. No. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure Garrick won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so that means New York is actually a passive opposition. <laughs> because if yeah, Gary, if that that's another thing that you can do when you're if you have more than one militia, you flip up all your militia except your last one, and then they can suck up losses instead of continentals, and then you don't then you don't run into the going over. Well, limit thing as much because you you've got evens and odds adding up so you're always going to hit. How many pieces did you remove uh, Hector? Two. Two? Oh, so wouldn't I... Uh, three. Three. Yeah, the, so yeah. wouldn't yeah, that move... And, and my, my guy. Because Washington is there, wouldn't that move it two uh, spaces on the... Right. the you're 100% right. Yeah. Oh, yep. Double right, rebellion win the day. Pack it up, boys. <laughs> Pack it up, boys. Time to go home. That was terrible. That was so bad. Oh, gosh. So we got nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, that's amazing. Washington, Washington. He's six foot ten nice and weighs a ton. Washington on your side. Oh, how many Hamilton re references are we allowed? Uh, uh, all, of all of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all of them. Wow. Great minds think alike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, that was an example of a bad play. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and take my real turn. <laughs> that was a bummer. All right. Uh, what's propaganda? I also didn't pay for my my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Train-based gameplay. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> I I do feel very happy though about what just happened, <laughs> and I didn't do anything. Uh, okay, what's propaganda? This event that is coming up has uh, is potentially going to place a bunch of propaganda and I don't actually so that I have an ability to reward loyalty which is I basically pay to switch the support um, raids and propaganda kind of like increase the cost I have to pay one to remove the propaganda before I could uh, affect the support or opposition or support oh okay cool yeah. so it's kind of like a terror marker it is a terror marker wait yes. wait 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 sweet didn't both sides remove three pieces here? So there's no winner? 
Uh, it says In- defender is the winner if equal. Yeah, this is for yeah. ties. Defender wins. Oh, yep. Washington, Washington. Center. I agree. He's got four balls. <laughs> uh, how did that happen? Well, you did it dumb. <laughs> <laughs> um, One. It's not gonna be. It's not the first time. It's not gonna be the last one. <laughs> It's okay. It felt like I was doing a dumb leaving Washington there, so I'm glad it turned out okay. <laughs> um, Did we switch New York City? Oh, no, there wasn't enough killed pieces to win the day in New York City. Okay. No, yeah, no. New York City was what it was. Um... Place up to three militia anywhere, one propaganda with each, one fort anywhere. It's pretty cool. Holy smokes. How do I get money? Feels bad Naval to leave. Naval pressure. Naval pressure. Well, so, Garrick, it seems like you really, really should. Right. Can, uh, actually, I guess I should ask, can leaders be killed? No. Uh, so, if we remove everything, all friendly pieces, uh, the leader will just go away. Um, okay. You're able to spawn them on a muster or a rally uh, option. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, well, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm trying to think through that because it feels super wrong, but it seems like the, the play is to just let Washington disappear into the ether and then respawn him somewhere. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just like real well, life. And you can you you can relocate him during the winter also, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Chugle, that's a good point. It is kind of historical actually. <laughs> well, I guess I'm taking I don't see that in the rally commands. Is that a it's in under like the leaders. It's like a footnote. Okay. Yeah, let me let me check that before we get too far and we find out it's wrong and suddenly Washington's dead. <laughs> Versus Well <laughs> I it's more I'm really interested in like are there any restrictions to where you can do that and does it cost anything? Do you like place less pieces to bring in the leader? That kind of stuff. Uh let's see. Leader units cannot be eliminated if at any time the current leader is in a space with no pieces of its faction, the owning faction moves that leader to any space with the same faction's pieces. Or to its available forces box during the redeploy what? phase. You could just you could just move it as soon as yeah. You just move it immediately, oh, and then wow. during the redeploy phase of winter quarters, uh, the factions leader may change. Uh, I don't see anything about placing it from the box there, so maybe that is. But yeah, I don't know why you'd put it to the box when you could just put it somewhere else. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Well, yeah, I was going to say you really need to march into New York or march out of New York. Um, But now I think maybe you can just leave him there. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I'm just, yeah, we're just going to take the event uh, because it seems cool. So we're going to place three militia anywhere and, uh, one propaganda with each, and then we'll place a fort anywhere. So let's put them. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have a strong grasp on what propaganda does. Uh... Oh yeah, we should uh, we should just like quickly go through the prop phase because that seems like it's going to be important in this game. Yeah. What the winter quarters round, or the winter quarters phase? Yeah. Yeah. Um, pretty easy. Oh, you're uh, talking about the propaganda chits. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it sounds like they work the same. Oh, maybe you don't remember that because you've only played a distant plane. Uh, remember the terror markers that make it more expensive to do civic actions. 
Yeah. You probably don't remember that because you were Taliban. Well, no, you were placing those things. I, I loosely, uh, that, that was sort of the impression of what I thought they were. I just don't remember what they mechanically do. You know what I mean? Like, I, I remember the idea of what they do. So it makes it more expensive for him to buy support. Uh, and I don't really know, I guess I haven't looked at his full command list. I don't know his how he does it in this game or what the requirements are. But like when you uh, when you buy up support during the the propaganda phase or the winter quarters phase, then removing the terror markers costs one usually, and then you can buy support. Um, so it sounds like they work. The propaganda chits work the same way here. Yes. Um, so basically, like, where does he? Well, uh, Hector, how do you? How do you? Raise yeah, sure. So uh, my muster allows me to uh, reward loyalty in one space instead of place on a fort. Um, and I basically, okay. in a space with one regular and one Tory, I could pay a dollar to shift it towards active support. Um, but I have Got to pay an so you have to have for every propaganda on there. Um, okay, and same... you have to have regulars and Tories? That's is, right. Sounds like? Yep. Okay, yeah. So yep. then, yeah, New York seems like a good spot because ah. he's got the Tories there. <laughs> New York uh, City New seems Jersey. like a good spot. Yeah. Um, yep. Yep. Also, at the winter quarters phase, um, I will also have the opportunity to reward loyalty. Um, you also have something called committees of correspondence, which is very similar. Um, but you, the same thing, you're affected with raids, which uh, Badger has. So um, you're going to be able to pay a resource to. Uh, shift towards opposition, but you have to pay for every raid on there. Did that make sense? I'm, yeah. I'm looking up here if you guys want to see the winter quarter. No, yeah, that's fine. I'm thinking about the third place to put these. Um, like the obvious answers, the obvious spots seem to be Quebec or Florida because they have bases, and, but they only have a population yep. of zero, so maybe they don't matter that much. Uh, yeah, I, maybe South Carolina would, or Virginia. I was gonna say South Carolina. He already has Tories, so he just needs to get some regulars in there, and then can buy that up to support. Pretty yeah, easily if he wants. Um, what else is two? You already did New York City and New York. Um. It's New York's value, also too. Okay. I guess New Jersey. He's set up to do it really easily already because he's got what he needs, but it's only one. I don't know. Yeah, we'll go with New Jersey. I think. Keep my pieces somewhat near each other, maybe. Yeah. Uh, then I can place a fort anywhere. We're gonna place it. Uh, don't entirely know. Seems foolish to put it in New York. I don't have a lot of territory otherwise. Maybe North Carolina? Oh, yeah. OK. Uh, Garrick, if you just look at rabble rousing, that's li literally exactly word for word the terror command from uh, the, when you were playing the Taliban, other than like the terms are different. But gotcha. You activate a militia, you place a terror marker, <laughs> I mean, an, a propaganda marker, <laughs> and you shift one level towards opposition. Gotcha. Same thing from my point of view. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. that. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're going to go with that. Yeah, so so now New Jersey feels like a really great place to do it because uh, like you, you don't want to do this where you already have militia to that you can easily do the rabble rousing command in. So like New Jersey is solid, New York City is super solid. That feels like a good move to me. 
New <laughs> Jersey is always a great place. <laughs> is that it then? That's it. Come mess me up, Badger. I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> uh, we will do a trade and a gather. And since the British don't have any money to give me, I will just flip this one and take one resource on my trade. That's a weird way to pronounce Warpath, Badger. <laughs> <laughs> You throw my guys away like cannon fodder, and then you want me to play. Died for the cause, the common cause. <laughs> and then I will. Um, the common cause of I get, <laughs> letting Garrick win I will gather in New two, York. <laughs> I will gather up two. The first one is free. The second one costs me one. Uh, here I will remove place a village. Yeah. Here I will place two. Yeah, Badger's playing a uh, Euro game. He's just trying to get his engine up. <laughs> nice. And that's that. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Who keeps stealing cards into their hand? <laughs> I don't know why it even went to my hand. I was, I was probably zoomed, zoomed in correctly. Okay. <laughs> I love that I have literally no cards that start <laughs> with French in this time period. This is this is why uh yeah, always play with the historical card setup. It's so good. It feel it feels very interesting that I have to basically negotiate with Garrick to be like, No, look, you take the event so that I can have a full command, because otherwise I'm never gonna get one. <laughs> Okay, uh, four, five, six. We are in winter quarters territory. <laughs> I don't want. Yeah, these are these are quick campaigns too. Uh, yeah, I don't Only want ten cards. Win. That's short. <laughs> That'd be a pretty disappointing stream. <laughs> Would it? <laughs> <laughs> like our pen dragon game with like a nine hour extravaganza. Our Liberty or Death game was hour and a half. Forty five minutes. I, I mean Falling Sky ended after the first round, and so that was like an hour. Yeah, right. I thought I thought them Falling Sky and Lily comes out of nowhere and wins on the first <laughs> campaign. I was yeah. like, oh shit. <laughs> well played. <laughs> we we <laughs> that stream was like two hours long. <laughs> Including the teach. <laughs> That's hilarious. Lily retired from from coin games after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. And that was the last time she played, Lord going out on top. On top. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Okay, I'm going to command special activity. Uh, had a special activity first, which is naval pressure. Um, 1d3 dice uh, to my resources. You can fire that out of a cannon or what? Come on! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, sorry, I was supposed to fire it out of the cannon. No! <laughs> it's still a one. <laughs> nice uh, try. Okay. And I will immediately spend those two resources to do a garrison, uh, which is a cost of two total. Um, basically, I get to move regulars uh, from spaces uh, to cities. From any spaces to cities. Oh, uh, heck yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Um, I don't need to place, like, I don't need to select locations. Oh, I guess I do. Uh, I'm going to take Boston. I'll take Philadelphia. I'm basically just going to go to every city. Okay. Uh... And I can only move cool regulars. Yep. What was that? Yeah, your Tories are kind of stuck. Yeah. Um, I think New York's pretty solid. Tories are not so. allowed on the boats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can move from city well, to city, right? From anywhere. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, once yeah. you... Yeah. Unless the blockade, the blockade thing screws it up. 
I think. It's well, such a weird. Tories, you you have to get the Tories to stick their neck out, and then you leave them there, and then the Patriots come around. And what do you think? What do you think, Badger? Things. This is so weird how you can just pull your pieces from everywhere and just plop them into every city. Yeah. Well, yeah. This is thank you, Royal Navy. Powerful. Yeah, he's he's got naval superiority, so they're just getting moved around. Yeah. It's just um, interesting that even like inland guys get to get well, to yeah. you know e back out. As long as they're one, yeah, they're yeah. So this it's kind of interesting later in the game because this is where blockades get super important because they stop yeah. me from doing this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay, and then I get to uh, let's see. Activate one militia for every three British cubes there. Then in one city with British control. Yeah, I think this is this is it. Yeah, you can run them out of town in one one space or something. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll just keep this guy here since he's activated already. <laughs> I just no, I flipped the the two Asha. Just now. Yeah, I just I I can displace all gotcha. uh, units, um, but I think I'm good. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust control. This is more like it. All right. Nope, that did not change. <laughs> I just just it makes me feel better, you know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's totally making me feel very nervous. Uh, <laughs> okay, Frenchy. Yep. French. <laughs> um, let's see. Garrick, are you interested in the event upcoming or? I don't think so because it's adding active militia. I feel like I get better returns just rallying or something. Yeah, okay. Because I'd really like to be able to prepare for Garrick, but... <laughs> I, I, I understand that. It... <laughs> we need the... Uh, we need the... Uh, oh, there it is. There is the Winter Quarters thing. Um, Where, oh, yeah. Up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah the... Yeah. I mean, I guess I could field negotiation if you wanted to. I just, I don't. Yeah, the event does not. No, no, there. I, I'm, I'm fine. I, you know, I'll live. It just, okay. uh, I'm pretty sure you want me to get in the war early. So yeah. Uh, but in that case, I, let's see, I'll probably just French agent mobilized. Do you want two militia or a continental? Uh, I almost feel like I'd rather have or more to the point. Right what now. do I want you to have? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's the question, and that is something I don't know the answer to. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess he would swing towards continental because that makes him more battle ready, which means more. He does need money, more though. Casualties. Yeah, just feels that's like the the Roderig commands is. A little lame to do with just a limited. Mm -hmm. It's like I can spend a resource and give him two. Well, two is actually seems like it's a lot for you. Just based on the way this economy is working. Yeah, this feels like a very low economy. Like small numbers are valuable. Yep. Um Yeah, so he just just swept a bunch of militia, but you still could you still could put quite a lot of support on the board. You have a good amount of hidden pieces. Uh 
the supply phase is really going to screw me over. These Tories are. Yeah. So, uh, Garrick, I'm going to do a French agent mobilization. And I'm going to put two militia into. Uh, oh, is it New York City or New York? It's New York. Dang it. Yeah, that's very specific. It means New York and not New York City. Yep. Uh, okay. Where else do you not have hidden pieces that you could use hidden pieces? New Hampshire's just one. Or Quebec, that's right. <laughs> not city. <laughs> Don't use drugs and noble knight at the same time. <laughs> 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 um Actually, wait, no, hang on. I don't want you to win yet. <laughs> Cuz I lose. I need yeah. I need more dead British. I we so were a yeah, team. I will. I thought we were a team. <laughs> <laughs> so never mind. I won't I won't boost your ability to do yeah. terror by placing extra militia, I instead will give you money. So I spend one and you get two. Drew is reverting to his duck's ways, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, that's it for me. Okay. Arcanum, okay. we're playing the medium scenario. Oh shit. <laughs> That's a not good event for me. Put on first. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not sure why you're worried. <laughs> so now I can't special activity. <laughs> uh, so I'm up. Are you? Uh, no, would, I think it's Garrick. Yeah, why would you be up? Oh, Garrick's up. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I was just trying not to. I was trying not to hold things up, so. Unacceptable. Yeah, uh, the also, stream has to go also 12 hours. Really interesting, also really interesting that it doesn't, it seems like the Indians also don't have a card where they are first eligible in the 75, 76 deck. I mean, obviously it could just be coincidence, but I suspect that that is the case, just based on what we've seen so far. It seems like that's kind of the trend. Yeah. I like it. God, Weird I and interesting. To show up. I am very poor. <laughs> Um, flat broke is what you are. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, that's interesting, Chugle. I just assumed that the early period would be like heavily weighted towards the British and the Patriots. <clears throat> I mean, that's what we've been. That's like literally every card has been British or Patriot so far. So I assumed that that was the case. Interesting that it's not actually just weird luck of the draw. One of the next four is going to be the winter quarters, just FYI. Yeah. Yep. Uh, reminding myself, how's the desertion oh, or whatever this, work? Is this game a sudden winter quarters? Or it is sudden. Is it, yes. it is sudden. Okay. Yep. Cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, Arcanum, the crazy thing is we all started this way. I think Garrick started this scenario with like three resources. I started with two. And then Badger had zero. To get oh, you started with two and you passed. That's yeah. Like, Badger started with zero. I had, I, I think I was the richest and I had five at the yeah. beginning of the scenario. Yeah. I forget what Hector had, but I had three. like three or something. Yeah. Yeah. I squandered it immediately. <laughs> 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 Oh, Badger, I think he could win right now. Like, if he pushes any toward any support anywhere. Yeah, I'm just debating how much to push that. Shouldn't have given you any money. Should have just passed. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Uh, don't lose field battles to the to the Continentals. The numbers were just in my yeah, they favor. Were, they were. I don't yeah. understand yeah. how it happened. Yeah. I even threw. Well, it was uh, one to three dice. Is that is that Washington guy. Well, you also rolled like a one, a one, and another one. <laughs> Or maybe that a one and one and a two. Also, you rolled really low. <laughs> yeah, that did not help. I think that <laughs> might have been better wrong. off not using my guys as Tories. You think that one's wrong, uh, Hector? I think so, because it says if you click on it again, it says the Indians are negative nine. Well, they're losing on forts. Yeah, it should be negative three. Well, it's minus six on the the spread. Oh, it, it takes that into account. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I should just rabble rouse and play the odds. And just win? Yeah. <laughs> it feels dumb, but maybe it's the right type of dumb. It's all up to Badger at that point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, then all, all Badger needs to do is plop one village down. And that denies you, so... And he's on this card. No, wait. So what, do you, okay. what do you mean it denies him? Can't can't Garrick not win if he doesn't have three more uh, forts than villages? Isn't that doesn't he? No, it just has to beat your score. So if you guys win the war, um, you're now just comparing your secondary score between the both of you. Uh, yeah. Oh, interesting. Yep. So even if. So it all basically it all comes down to support. Even if, even if ba like even if he has no forts on the board somehow, and Badger mm -hmm. has like all of his villages, he could still win if my, uh, if the cumulative British casualties are lower than his, his secondary. That is a really weird. I like it. That's really weird though for coin. I mean, he would have to. Interesting. Where did it go? But I believe it's yeah, wait, let's whoever has the, the highest score uh, between the two. Wait, no, the the uh the player aid says and on victory check. Yeah, I think I need both. I think he needs both. I'm not sure it's the tiebreaker. I think it's the. I think he needs to have both. I think I need both. I'm reading the rules, and it doesn't. It's not like super clear, but it's not unclear. It seems like I need both. Then who who wins? <laughs> I no, uh, no, one, no one. No one yeah. would win. We'd keep playing. It seems like it's a little bit like the Duke's Kiwitates relationship. Like oh, they can, yeah. Yeah. they can win with half their victory condition, or they can be at vic half, sorry, they can meet the first half of their victory condition, but then they'll get the much harder secondary part then the game just keeps going. Yeah, you're right. Both of the factory's victory conditions must have a positive victory margin in order to win the game. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so all we gotta do is get uh, Badger to plop a village down. Which it looks like he can do no problem, uh, either yeah, in Florida or in hard. Quebec. <laughs> so the real question, Garrick, is do you think you can place another fort and get over 10 support? <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the question. Um, that seems well, a Badger would need to place three villages to even tie you. Well, no, again, I'm trying to go for a, a sudden victory, basically. Right. I'm talking about. And, and if I don't have... This and this, I don't win. Yeah, but you do because you do. Yeah, yeah, but if you do, you're ahead of me. Single. I'd have to get all the way to here. Oh crap! You're right. It's not. It's not three it's villages. villages it's minus three, three more villages than Badger. Yes. Yeah. So Badger would need to get to six. It's kind of why these are offset. That's why they're oh, offset. Right. Right. Yep. Oh yeah. Then we go with the stupid move. All right. Um. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe we're gonna lose this war. 
All right, rebellion control and patriot pieces or one or more ground underground militia. Uh So it looks like I only have to activate militia if I don't control the space. If I'm reading that right. So I could do like North Carolina for free. Uh, I could do Georgia for free. It's just like New Jersey I would have to flip. If I'm reading that right. On rebel rousing? Yeah. Yeah. If and no rebellion no control no. activates... I think if you, oh, interesting. I think that means you can't rabble rouse where you control. No, the look at the no, locations. Spaces would rebellion control or patriot pieces. Yep. Yeah, I think you're right. It's gonna be tough. Uh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so the way I read it, I can just shift uh, North Carolina. <laughs> you can just pay to shift without revealing your militia. Wow, that's great. Uh. Where else am I? Already have New York. Already have Massachusetts. Uh, so yeah, I can just shift Charlestown. Georgia. Uh, Charlestown. Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> what are we currently at? Thirteen to three. Uh, and then I guess we flip New Jersey just to have some slight wiggle room, just in case, maybe. All right. I did the stupid. Let's see how this goes. Oh, I've got a... Hold on, I've got a special, don't I? Maybe... <laughs> maybe... What would I do with a special? Um, that is bonkers. Oh, I'm supposed to place propaganda in all these, too. That's right. Yep. Uh, if it's anything like oh, there's other one coin there. games, if yeah. there's already a propaganda there, you don't place another one. Yeah, I just didn't see it. Ah, okay. Um, I mean, maybe I get persuasion to try and not screw myself over. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think you pretty much have to do persuasion, make your yeah, money. Yeah, you you broke. Yeah. Add one Patriot resource and activate one underground militia. So I guess we'll do Charlestown. Uh, this number doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> Help. <laughs> Uh, I guess North Carolina for another. Yeah, that New York attack backfired hard. <laughs> Super hard. It had to be done, though. I think. And I guess was it? Stopped. Wait, was it? Was it already at passive oppose? Washington doubles the shift there. Oh right, right. Yep, yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I, remember that. All right I think Dang. that's me entirely done. Love it. I think that's everyone done, Garrick. I think the game. <laughs> no. Well. We'll I see. Can, we'll see. I can do a raid. You know, oh, Badger, my boy. <laughs> which yep. is what I have to do. So I have to pay for it. But then that knocks this down. That knocks that down one. Yeah. Can you actually do it over here, Badger? Where? What? North Carolina, just so you could... Well, Go this gets us twice, though, because this is population two. This one is well, two. They, they both are. Yeah. I mean, my They're argument would be equivalent. because a raid token here would be um, more effective than a raid token up there, because I, I control Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's... Yeah, yeah, no, that's right. Oh. I, was, I, was all, I was focused on this the whole time. Malakal86 says there can be two propagandas. Oh, oh, interesting. That's oh, unique. that's yeah, that's right. Oh, well, in that case, I need to throw out a ton of them because I also I was also supposed to put them out for persuasions. I recall. Yeah. Wow. 
Wow, that makes things get expensive fast. <laughs> well, then let me think here. Where do I want to read? I think we're better off in New York then, right? Why is that? Uh, there's only one propaganda here in the studio. Oh, I, but I don't I don't think the Patriots have to pay for propaganda. They no, only have it to makes your I don't know if it makes a difference. If I I actually have to pay for raids too. So uh Patriots with committees of correspondence only have to pay for raids. I have to pay for raids or propaganda. In order to reward loyalty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so actually, okay, yeah, so it should definitely be in North Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> because if you want to be nice. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We'll do that. And you have to flip your war party for I that. I will shower you with gold badger. Well, because Hector oh. oh Hector doesn't have any money. Oh no. I have zero money. <laughs> I was going to say, it all you need to do is tattoo. reward loyalty in New York and you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> was North Carolina on pass on uh, active or passive? It passive. was on passive. passive. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's that. Oops. No, I should. It should be Garrick and I here and. French mm. and French. Well, it'd be really great is if the propaganda happened right now. I would uh, winter quarters. I would actually appreciate that because <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> someone flipped the card. Here we go. Nope. Oh look, Damn. French card. <laughs> they want Canada. <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, I don't have anything on the map. That's okay. Means you can get your uh, special. Like you've I can get my special. Prepare for Garrick. I can finally prepare for Garrick. Right as Garrick's about to win. <laughs> the biggest problem now is the British have no money. Yeah, so rewarding loyalty is rough. And can uh, what are the resource transfer rules? Who can give each other money in this game? Uh, you can only do so it as part of only do it stuff. demand. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, Badger has trade. Oh, really? You have your um, Roger, right. guys. Um, that's about it. Oh, wow. So I can't pay. I guess it makes sense, but I can't pay off the British. Badger is a stump. I, I need a. <laughs> I need you on my console because I'm obviously inept to <laughs> lead this army. Um, I want to pass. I think you have to. All right, well, there it is. You Thank turtled you, up. You turtled up in all the cities, so it's not like you can whack anything. Yeah, I can't pay for anything with just a command. So they're gonna get a. I mean, the only <laughs> other thing you could do. Yeah, if it you don't would want really it. hurt if he takes all Tories from New York, but it's fine. No, I would. I mean, there's like literally no risk of me doing that because uh, you're gonna take the command special activity. Well, that ends that would be a disaster because then you can't reduce his I, I don't want to win the war yet I want to win the war later <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be the hero okay I'm done I'm that's passing. exactly right <laughs> um okay yeah so I will do a command and special um oh gosh I don't want to mobilize agents prepare for Garrick I guess well yes I'm definitely going to prepare for Garrick but uh yeah. <laughs> what's the commands Now seems like a bad time to give Garrick money, so. <laughs> I mean, it's never a bad time to give me money. Plop no. one yeah. content. Ooh, can I do a blank command in this game and do a special ability? No, I'm pretty sure it said you do. have to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Every coin game has a different ruling on whether you can do an empty command in order to add a special ability. And I can never remember which one's which. Uh, so I will do French Asian mobilization. I'm only going to do it in one space. I'm going to place a continental um, rather than boonies. a militia. <laughs> and, well, you know, I, I'm going to... The nice thing about continentals is they don't actually... Uh, they're not 
he can't just like rabble rouse with him easily, so yeah, he has to go win a fight. So yeah, I'll stick it in. Uh, do I want to put it down in like Georgia, or do I want to just stick it in Massachusetts where he's got a bunch anyway? There's not gonna be enough time for him to go fight with that army. So yeah, I'll put a continental in Massachusetts for one resource. Go ahead, Garrick. Or I'll do it. Yeah, you couldn't do it in Georgia anyway. It's got to be one of the. Oh duh. yeah, yeah, it's got to be one of those four spaces. No boonies allowed. Uh, okay, so then I get to prepare for Garrick as my special ability. Um. Mm-hmm. Three of your strongest men. <laughs> do I want a squadron or do I want three regulars? I think yeah. I want three regulars just because that gets me. No, it doesn't. It does not quite get me to being able to play Treaty of Alliance. I want. But yeah, that's what I'll do. Three regulars it is. Okay. And that's it. You're very that's close. Card. Yeah, I'm, I'm two away. Wow. Okay. Uh, Here we go. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Badger, what do you think? Uh, I don't know. You almost have to... Well, Badger, how do you make money? I, I trade. trade. No. And can, then I, I either get one or the British can give me more. But I really can't make money. Not in any kind of industrial strength. Interesting. Way. I can raid or I can plunder. But yeah, then you say, have to be, yeah, I can plunder, but you have to have more guys than... Oh. And right now, I'm not really in position to do that anywhere. So. Well, wait, no. Um, uh, Quebec, you have three war parties. Yeah, I could. Yeah. But I can't wait. Uh, oh, but it's zero. Ah, yeah. oh, dang, it's zero population. So population. it wouldn't actually do anything. Um. Yeah, bummer. Florida also <laughs> zero population. Oh, and you can't wait. You can't transfer to the British. The, the British, British transfer no. to you. Yes. Oh, okay. So yeah, no. you're just you're just. Uh... No, all I can do is sell them first. So. Got it. Okay, well. And they can either pay overpay me or I just get one. So. Yep. Coffers are looking pretty thin on this side. How this side. much does reward loyalty cost? One resource per level, and then you yep. got to clear the propaganda first, which costs three. Yep. Which costs one per token. One per token. Okay. Yep. Oh, that's why you can do multiple. All right. Um... Okay, well, I mean, actually, I, mean, I think you we're could fine. Muster, it sounds like you, you can, could, you could muster. You got two resources. Pencil, you could muster into Pennsylvania and reward loyalty there. That would yeah, you. I think that's probably. Well, I have to pay propaganda, so I, I I need resources. Like no matter what I do, I think you could also muster into Connecticut. Yeah, the thing. Well, the thing is, the winter quarters. I'm out of supply. Um, if I'm out of a city or a place without yeah. a fort, yep. so um, I I need to. I'm not sure what I need to do, but I need to do something. I might actually just put a fort in Virginia or South Carolina. If you could give me a special activity. Wait, how does that prevent the game from ending a fort? 
I think you just got to suck it up and uh, muster in Pennsylvania and then be out of supply. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, <laughs> I think Badger should do uh, a command and special ability. <laughs> yeah. What's I your special activity, activity going to be? Or just a command, a full command. Yeah. I'm I just, mean, he can't, he can't take the I'm event. Just gonna, okay, yeah, so I'm just going to pass. I'm first, right? That's, you're waiting on me. Yep. So. Oof. I'll just pass. This is too good for me to pass up. Oh, yeah. Free village. That's true. Okay. Um, relocate. <laughs> Two Quebec, one friendly fort there. Where's Quebec? Have it. <laughs> yeah, there's no there's no way he's getting that. Okay. Um some special activity. I'm going to naval pressure. That is a D three. A little bit better. And then we're going to muster here. Yep, that very conveniently is enough to clear New York. <laughs> yeah, I think I might want to muster here too. This is so expensive. Okay. Um, so I'm going to place... I guess a regular here. <laughs> A regular here. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, muster in three places. No, 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 because I need... Can you muster outside of cities? Uh, yeah, as long as it's adjacent to a city that's not bloc blockaded. Blockaded. Yeah. Uh, it's sort of the... Or an adjacent colony. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Okay. It's sort of the opposite of garrison. You can either yeah. throw them out or pull them back in. Um, can I reward loyalty? Do I need a fort? No, you just need a uh, Tory and a... Okay, but I could only go in one space anyways. So I'm going to stick with two. Uh, so I'm going to drop two resources. I place two things, and now I'm going to place two Tories. Uh, I guess here. No, let's see what happens if I bring him here. Um, and then I'm going to reward loyalty here, where it doesn't cost me anything. So I'm going to do it two spots. It's going to be a active support. Well, I can only do that in one spot. Yep. Okay. Okay. I think. I'm done. Garrick's Garrick's thing should be. Oh yeah, I never moved it, so it should yeah. be up at twelve. Um, limited command or event. I feel a little bit more stabilized. <laughs> Does Garrick take the war to Canada? <laughs> that worked out really well historically. Probably never going to get pulled off the board. Doesn't seem like fighting over Quebec is really worth it to anybody. Yeah, I mean, What's great about this mod is they uh, placed all the historical concepts into every card. So if you like mouse over the yeah, card. Yeah, I saw the mouse over. That's been really nice. Description. George Washington recommended to Continental C Congress that Marquis de Lafayette, gosh, that was my dog, leads an invasion into Canada. 
So I think you have to do it, Garrick. <laughs> <laughs> There's already two bases there, aren't there? What happens if it tells you to place something and... In... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This isn't like oh, Pendragon where you Oh, you can... probably can't violate stacking limit. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think this is like and Pendragon yeah, where you can just kick stuff not... out. Yeah. Right. Yeah, this is... I'm going to move these guys up here. Why are you just going to let that poor band drown? for a little swim in Lake Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> That's war canoes. <laughs> um, you guys played Conquest the Paradise, speaking of war canoes? No, but I've heard good things. It's a pretty cool game. Yep. It's a pretty cool game. Yeah, I've been I've curious to check it out. Less good things. <laughs> Mostly that it's like a disaster or a rule book. <laughs> I mean, the rule book isn't the game. But I am though. interested to check it out. Yeah, 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 but it makes it hard. It's true. It's just, it's a neat, it's a neat setting as much as anything, you know, stuff you're not, yeah, not used to. So, yeah, I'm definitely interested for that reason alone. Well, and then you've got, you're building them, you know, you've got the map building thing and. It's like 4X in the Pacific, basically. With surfing and more canoes and tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> the real question, Garrick, is can you get back to? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm trying to think about Victory. it. I don't think there's Seven any way to. To 12, yeah, you would need, you would need five somehow. I feel like I'd have to wa uh, march Washington in somewhere key and then somehow manage an incredible swing. <laughs> well, I mean, you could just keep rabble rousing, but you need a full command for that. I mean, I still I would still be limited by like. There's there's still the fact that support is now seven. I don't know how I get up to 17 from 12. Uh, this, like North Carolina goes to active opposition is four. And then you need one more somewhere else. Georgia. What, do you mean, what do you mean active? I mean, if yeah. you can flip it twice. Yeah. I don't see how it flip it twice. Oh, that's true. Uh oh. Rabble rousing is one level. Yeah. 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 So you, you, you'd have to rabble rouse twice. But you have a limcom right now, so like I, I think probably your best bet is just gamble on a limcom now and then a full command in. Oh wait, no, there's no that, two cards. So yeah, yeah, never mind. yeah. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, we don't have enough time. I would have to do it right now, and there's not. It's not happening. Yeah, I didn't realize there were li like li we know for a fact that the next card is the yeah. winter quarters. I thought there was like two more, but that's not correct. So never mind. Ignore me. Just be here at ninety six percent loading. <laughs> Ooh, ninety seven. Units. Oh my gosh. What? No, you're oh, fine. No. I just haven't no, no. been taking into account my uh, leader ability. What does he do? Uh, oh, wait. Am I how? Oh, never mind. No, you're It doesn't gauge. even matter until um, the French are in. Yeah, Arcanum, I just realized that that's not correct. The next gauge card would have been is so no, you need, yeah. If you, if you play the, the, if you play the, 
the whole the whole thing having gauge at the start is nice. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, I think it's a fifty-fifty. It's one of the yeah. next two cards, Tom. Yep, but then it it's is one next two. The thing with gauge, though, then also is it mm. it uh, it encourages you to play sort of passively, kind of mm-hmm. like gauge, and just try to make nice with all the loyalists in town. Well, I took the a- active strategy and it yeah. blew well, up on my face, so yes. maybe the passive is the way to go. I think I'm just going to rally. Um, and... I think I'll just replace these two Continentals with a base. Oh yeah, I mean, how super, super good. It's a free, free naval pressure. <laughs> Get, mother, what are you stuck on? Our ports. Their geometry is insane. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, the collider is clearly not star shaped. And I think that's that. Uh, actually, actually, you know what? I want to replace that militia instead of one of the continental, thinking about it. Because maths. I'm playing for the winter quarters right now. Yep. Yep. All right. That's the card. Garrett, can you promote me now that you're done? Mm, do I have to? <laughs> if you want to move all my pieces for me, then that's fine too. Oh, again? <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. Winter. I know how much you loved that last time. Winter quarters. Bloop, bloop. Okay. Does anyone win? Nope. No. Thank God. All right. <laughs> uh, we execute our winter quarter round. All right. So supply phase. Yep. Um, starting with the British, uh, I'm in supply. If they're in a space with the British fort or in a city with British control. If not, I have two choices. Uh, I could pay one resource per space or shift towards active opposition or just remove the cubes. Um, I'm going to shift this towards active opposition one level, which means it goes to passive support. You also have New Jersey. Oh, yeah, I got, I got things. Sorry. Um, yep. New Jersey. <sighs> yeah, that's active support. Active oppose, sorry. Um, and I think that's it. Okay, and then um, Patriot. Uh, so militia and continentals are in supply if they're in a space at a fort or a colony with rebellion control. Um, if not, you pay one resource or remove one for every two Patriot units there. So any spaces with, with just one thing is fine. So Look. looking at that, I think the only place that's an issue then is New York. Yep. Yep. Um. So pay a resource or remove a militia. It looks like. Yeah, I'm debating it real quick. These uh, these support changes. We just saw our constitution in action, <laughs> or we saw the precursor to our constitution. No quartering <laughs> the troops. All you're doing is pissing people off. <laughs> <laughs> How many am I going to gain? Uh, two, three, four. Six. Yeah, I'll pay the one. Oh, f- all right. Fuck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you really want to be there. 
Uh, French regulars are, are not on the map. I won't worry about that. Um, and then so villagers, I believe, uh, in a space with the village or an Indian reserve province, if not pay a resource or move them to a province with a village. So I think the, here... Yeah. Also in the northwest. Oh, that's a, I think that's a reserve. I think. Oh, yeah, it's a reserve. Yep. Uh, so these guys have to go yeah. Luckily, you just move them. And then yeah. these guys. That's that. Uh, okay. Florida? Uh, now, Florida's a reserve. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. How uh, do you know that? Is that where is that? On the ledge highlighted. Population of zero is always a reserve. Oh, anything with zero population. Cool. Yeah. Makes sense. Let's get the little black. And it's the black pop square. Okay. Or circle. Yep. Okay. Great. Sweet. Uh, so, West Indy battles, doesn't matter. Resource phase. So, the British uh, is forts plus the population of non blockaded British controlled cities. Um, so, I have four forts. And then the population of cities I control is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's eleven resources. Uh, for the Indians, it's half the number of villagers. Village is <laughs> ran it down. <laughs> one. <Yep>. Nice. <laughs> uh, Patriots is forts plus half number of rebellion controlled spaces. Uh, so I have, I think, four forts. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and then I have one, two, three, four controlled spaces. So I think that's six total. Yep. And then the French, two times squadron or blockade markers in West Aww. Indies. Really, I knew I should have figured out if there was a good reason to put that third squadron out before the you, the the, the, uh, back. the regulars. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Uh, so I just get four. It looks you like four. Yeah, and Garrick's gonna have to do that for me. I promoted okay. you. What are you or talking about? Me. I promoted you oh, ages I ago. <laughs> I just forgot to put myself. In you moron. <laughs> <laughs> All right, support <laughs> phase. Um, so this is the part where we get to spend resources to build support um, in controlled spaces. So starting with me, I have to. I could do it in places where it's British controlled, and I have regulars and Tories. Um, I have to remove one. I have to remove the raid and propaganda for a cost of each. I could only do this to a maximum of two levels per space. Um, so starting with this, I'll spend one. Two to make this uh, path of support. Wait, anyway. well, wasn't it? No, no, wasn't, no. Oh, wasn't it already on passive support? You're right. You're right. I yep. got that confused. So I, I spent one to move it to active support. Um, I believe I could do it in New York. I will pay three to wipe that propaganda out. Three and then move this to neutral. Get out of here. What's his name? John Hancock. <laughs> some, some guy. <laughs> some uh, guy. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> um and <laughs> what's up? Trevor? I think that's all. Yeah, that's all I could do. Oh gosh. This Tory and regular is really local, hard. Yes, you need local friends, man. Seriously. All right, and then it's committees of correspondence. Yep. Uh, same thing with you. Uh, only raid markers are only you're only affected by raid markers. And yep, same thing. So controlled spaces up to two levels. Uh, okay, so I guess I'll spend one to make this one, uh, active, spend... Oh, the West Indies? Like, I could even two. take that before TOA? Wow. Yeah. Right. 
Yep. Are you that sure? That wasn't using five resources. It says no pieces may be placed here until after Treaty of Alliance. Boom. Yeah. Uh, I spent two to remove this raid and then to shift this. Uh, oh, yeah, I want to spend three to get it all the way. Nice. Uh, and I think we're probably fine like that. Uh, nice badger. That, I think that was a good place for that raid. It's the 14 to 7. Oof. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Uh, we are now in the redeployment phase. Um, the first faction on the next event card must make a leader change if possible. Indians. Yep. So Joel Brandt goes away. And I get Corn Planter. Yeah, is that the next Corn step? Planter. And he has to go. He can go anywhere, right? As long as I got, or does yes. he have to go where there's a? Yep. And then uh, each faction may redeploy its leader um, in the following order: Indians. So you you go ahead and redeploy your leader. Then it's going to be British, then Patriots. Hal's just going to chill in New York. Uh, I'll go ahead and move Washington to Massachusetts. Oh, shit. There's his army. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night, Arcanum. See you, Tom. All right. Then um, British move pieces uh, from, to available from unavailable oh. per the scenario instructions. Yeah, I actually don't know that. Let me... I think you get the six, but I'm not sure. I remember right, or maybe that's maybe that's not since we're not in the early early scenario. Maybe you don't. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I have to get the it's so weird. It is not. I think it's way at the end in the. Okay, six regulars and six Tories. It's like page 38. Thank you. Chugalui. Yeah. yeah, it's way in the it's way at the end of the rules and the setups. Yeah. So First yeah, there it is. Yep. Regulars. Thanks. That is in a weird spot. It really is. Yeah, it should be with this and this. Well, that's okay. the it, yeah. These it's... are all the scenarios. It just tells you set up. Mm. Uh, okay, and then um, we're not in TOA, so desertion phase. Uh, we remove one in every five militia and one in every five continentals. The first uh, militia and continentals is chosen by the Indians. So you have ten militia out. Is it ten? I thought it was nine. I'm um, just can't. And then it's you team. have. Oh, I guess it must be 10 because there's five. Yep. five in the supply. Blurg. Yeah. So two each, it looks like. I think it's only one continental because I don't think the dead guys count, but I could be wrong. Oh, you're right. So I will get rid of this one and I will get rid of this one. And then Garrick gets to pick one militia. Two. Ooh. Let's remove. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know where they all went. I don't know what happened. That's uh. There is a militia up here that you could get rid of if you really didn't want to. Yeah, I'm looking at, I'm eyeing the active ones first because they're, you know, active. Uh, they're all going to flip. 
I think. Yeah, they should flip back to yeah. underground during reset phase, which is next. Yeah, yeah that Quebec, Quebec one is probably useless. Or you could just get rid of... No, it's not. Okay. Okay, uh, for me, it's Tories, uh, and I have 13 Tories out, it looks like. so. French um, choose first. French chooses the first one. I choose the second one. Be gentle, mon ami. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, It's just the green cubes. Yeah, yeah. How many are you removing again? Sorry. We're removing two. Uh, You choose one and then I choose one. Yeah. I don't know if I have a lot of meaningful choices with just one. Um, but let's see if Garrett can go march into New York next round. So we'll get one of one in New York. I will kill one in Quebec. Yep. Okay. And then we do uh, the reset phase. We remove all raid and propaganda. Everyone eligible. Casualties to available. Um, militia and war parties underground. We revealed a n- new top card and resolved the event on the winner quarters. Okay, the event says uh, India conflict goes the other way. Reduce the larger of CRC or CBC by half the difference rounded down. Fuck. So, <laughs> the difference is four. Uh, half of that is two. So... There you go. Okay. The world turned upside down. And then everybody is eligible, I believe, right? Yep. Right. Yep. And these cubes should go back to available. Available. Yep. yep. Thank you. Here you go, Garrick. That's coming for Hey. Him. Holy shit, French. You are loaded. Yeah, I have some money. So much money. Just some some money. Just a little bit. It'll be fine. <laughs> 14 and 7. Oh, you're at 14. French prep. Nice. Oh, right. Yep. Oh, I knew that, and I just... Badger, he's coming. The counter. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> Your laissez-faire attitude yeah. towards <laughs> this war has been duly noted. <laughs> All right, so new quarter, right? Yeah. Our yep. new campaign. Badges. Yep. And badges up. Presumably to get a free village. Yep. Well, I was going to, but events have changed. Have so, they? Yep. I'm going to do a command and special ability. That's the French. Yes. Yeah, I am. Oops. <laughs> yeah. I will. I get a free march from a Indian place. Oh, you get a free march? That's terrifying. Well, goodbye, Fort. <laughs> And then I will also pay for a march. I guess I'll just have to slaughter and oppress your people for generations afterward. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) It only seems fair. I'm like you, Patriots. (laughs) Uh, I think it's the destination space, by the way. Just. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yep. Rip rip your fort. Fort Rip. And <laughs> Ripperoni. I want to. Where do I want to move these Wait. guys to? Oh, because he can march in Warpath. Yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah, that's what. That's what's going to happen. Um, rip in peace. Yeah, this will be my other destination. So I pay one. Oops. Um, first march will be. Three guys there. 
second march will be two guys here. Then we'll do the warpath thing. And I activate two, remove one. Nice. Oh, that technically counts as a casualty, doesn't it? Yes. Yes. Yep. So. Oh, well done, Badger. Killing it. Yeah, killing it is right. <laughs> it's certainly killing something. <laughs> All right, French is up. Uh, yep. Yep. Um. Hmm, I think I just pass. That's fair. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna be in the war next turn. Uh Kent. A fort anywhere is actually pretty good. I'm gonna take that event. Good old Fort 96 out in the boonies of South Carolina. <laughs> uh, that's it, guys. All right, next card. Yep. Martha Washington. Oh, no. You're going to pass up meeting your wife, Garrett? <laughs> Shit. Five resources. Shit. Dude, she's oh loaded. no, or you just get deserted. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <sighs> uh, well, Drew, you're up first. Yep. All right. So I'm going to do my thing. I will uh, prepare for Garrick. Do I, I, I think I want a squadron, though. Er, uh, can I not do prepare for war after TOA is played? You cannot. Uh, actually, no, you can. Looks like you okay. Can. I was gonna say you mentioned that at one point, but it seems like yeah, they say any for for all any, of any. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, it's nice to have those navies, though. Yeah. So I think. Uh... But he's there. Oh man, we're not ready for this. Yeah, it's so awkward because I need to be over 15. So if I place a squadron, I need another prepare for Garrick <laughs> to have the flexibility to get in. Otherwise, I'm just sitting going on the sidelines. Uh, there's only three campaigns left. I better just get some regulars in. I can always muster, or I can prepare in another squadron if I need it. So yeah, I will bring in uh, three regulars, which puts me up at 17. And then for the commands, I'm going to mobilize. Get you some Continentals. Um, actually, you might want militia in Massachusetts. Yeah, giving... Uh... I can't. I, I need to rally there anyway. So, in Massachusetts, yeah, to have enough to leave behind. Well, you don't need to rally. Out. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you plenty of guys. You can march right over here. I and need kill those. Dudes. I need people to protect the bases. Oh, fine, fine, fine. All right. Like I don't yeah, disagree. What if I? What if I? Uh, what if I stick some uh, militia in there? <laughs> I mean, they'll they'll help. Ugh. You add CBC? I don't remember reading that, Chugulay, but I could be wrong. Time to get ballsy, Garrick. Hold on, Chugulay's saying you might already be over. Let me see. I didn't remember reading that, but I will... Oh, that's right. No, CBC is added, and we have not been... Keep track of that. French preparation is French available plus blockades plus CBC, and CBC went up by round, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yep. Yeah. 
let's see. So I had I had nine regulars, two squadrons for eleven, and then this is a three, so fourteen. Oh wait, no. Yeah. I guess the number was correct before. That's seventeen. Well, it's seventeen now, but no. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so I so I did need to bring in the three regulars rather than the squadron to get over. Has oh yeah, CBC hasn't changed, has it? From no, there was just that the one, very first battle. There was just the one battle. Yep, yep, yep. yep. That he won somehow. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> All right, so I will do New York and Massachusetts, and that's probably it. I don't feel like wasting a resource on. Taking something in New Hampshire. Wasting resources. What are you? What action are you doing? What command? Uh, French agent mobilization. Oh, it's max one, isn't it? Max nope. one. Yeah. All right. Well, I take two resources back. Um. Yeah, let's do Massachusetts, and I'll stick. Uh, militia. Um, two militia. Yeah. Gets you all the way to two dice. So seems like it's worth it. That's it for me. You're up, Derek. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pass, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, before you choose your next thing, I might want to do a brilliant. Just... Well, let me flip this. Yep. And now you can go ahead and decide. <laughs> no, no. Go spend time with your family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sucks, but we'll do it. Okay, you're up. Okay. Uh, so doing this, um, I'm going to naval pressure. Naval pressure. Nice. Ah. <laughs> All right, and then uh, it's been well, great. Go. It's been just great. Yeah, it's not been good. I'm gonna muster in Charlestown. Ooh, run his ass out of town. I feel like safe everywhere. Uh, okay, so I'm going to muster there. I'm going to muster here. And I will muster in Boston before this business starts happening. Uh, so that's three resources. Um, I will put six of the finest regulars here. I will then uh one, two, three. Is that really yeah. necessary? I need six. Um I'm actually not going to muster here. I don't have enough regulars. Oh I could pull stuff off the map. So, Tories and cities and colonies. Okay, so then I'm pulling this one over here. That's fine. That's fine. Um, and then I'm going to put two Tories. Or actually, if it's passive opposition, I could only put one. Uh, so one here. I'll put two Tories here. And I will put... Zero Tories here. Okay. And then in um, one space, I could either build a fort or I could buy loyalty. I think I will buy loyalty. 
Oh, no shift limit. Interesting. I'll buy loyalty here for one. Okay, that's me. Uh, okay. okay. Oh, that. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, you're first, I think. Uh, All right. Uh, I am going to do French agent mobilization and prepare for Garrick again. We're going to do a continental this time into Massachusetts. And then I will place my third French squadron into available. I'm at 18 now. I really wanted to play the Brilliant Stroke, but wasting it to cancel a card where I'm first eligible felt. Yeah. Big time lame-o. Big time so, lame-o. Might as well get the squadron in now. Well, 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 well. <laughs> I could help. I could help the cause or I could help myself. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you don't have to pretend to think about it bad here. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just putting it out there. Um, <laughs> question is... The French I'm are assuming, I'm, I'm, assuming I'm not going to get any extra money by asking my British friends. Uh, I mean, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yeah. Is what I'm going <laughs> to say to you. I, I mean, I, I feel like may, I, I would have to give you three money to make anything, make it worth it, right? Because you get one money if I say no. Question is, do I raid and plunder or do I... Oh, yeah, do plunder. I, yeah. Do I raid and plunder, or do I build up my villages? Oh, I don't think you could raid here. You could raid here. Well, you actually only have a limited uh, command. So you won't be able to plunder. I could pass and take. Is that going to get preempted? Well, but he's got to be, he's got to be active. To play the... yeah. So we have one more turn. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't cancel Wyoming Massacre because uh, I need to actually be eligible in order to play a pivotal. Yeah. Or yeah. A, whatever they're called. Brilliant stroke. <gasps> this is, this is bad. Getting Tories out is actually really difficult. <laughs> At max, I could only put two, two per space. This is a really interesting game. Wyoming thing only gets me two. The game is not balanced. <laughs> That's funny, Jugule. The raid only gets me two shifts anyway, though, because Georgia and North Carolina are the only ones that could shift. Uh, yep. Georgia, North Carolina. Uh, so Massachusetts? Will... No, we can't. 
Yeah. No. So I will just do a limited gather. Okay. Gather here. That's good. Testing and eligibility. Cards. Let's see the next one. Yes. Choices, choices. <laughs> Drew, oh, come choices, on. Choices. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's that big of a choice. Yeah, it isn't at this point. You're coming? Unless you wanted <laughs> unless you wanted to go prepare for Garrick and get full up. I mean you oh, man. Do I will uh I will miss saying prepare for Garrick. But what you gonna do? Um I think I'll go ahead and command only. And Oh, uh, we forgot to change. Oh control. yeah, go ahead and go ahead and change that. I think we're going to rally. I missed my other base already. Oh, man. That is four militia. Ugh. And then you're going to be changing them to Continentals? That's an army. That's not an army. That's a horde. <laughs> <laughs> um... Well, let me start putting stuff out. It's getting four militia up there, right? And then yep. down. Ooh. I don't technically have enough uh, for down here. What's the order of operations on this? Do I do uh, the full procedure for one space and then the full procedure for the next space? Uh, you mean like where to insert your special activity? No, I mean, I don't have enough militia if i'm trying to like piecemeal each of these spaces at the same time uh so do i do the conversion like the recruit and conversion in a space and then the recruit in the other space yeah cause i think it, so, i think rally yeah. says then it, uh, yeah it's you have to follow from top to bottom so if desired replace any one militia in one space containing a fort oh i see what you're saying you get it now i get it The rule book, since no one seems to have an answer. Um, I think you have to complete the whole, whole thing space. in one space. It's a weird question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would. I would lean toward towards what Badger said. Um, I doubt it's going to be in the rulebook. It's probably. I've only been paying a little bit of attention because I assume I don't know the answer. Uh, what was the question again? Hold on, I think I've got it.
yeah, it looks like you place all of them and then you can select one of the ones that you placed in to convert. Yeah. Um, because the issue yeah. is I don't have enough militia to place everything, uh, and I didn't want to pull from other spaces if I didn't have to. Oh, yeah, okay. So I was just trying to figure out the order of uh, operations if I could do the convert and then pull more militia out. Um, where to take the well, wait, didn't uh. So you you found the answer and the answer is no. Uh, the the way it reads, it's like in each selected space, place the available militia or replace them with a fort. Uh, if it already has a fort, instead may do one of the other two things. And then the next step after that is then the patriots may select any one rally space with a patriot fort and replace any militia with continentals. So that reads to me like you do all of the militia placements, then you do the conversion for one space out of the ones that you placed into. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, but isn't I mean it just like any other coin, you should be able to interrupt. You should be able to do part of your command in one space, then interrupt with your special in another space. Yeah, it has nothing to do with the special. I'm I'm trying oh. to stagger the the timing of a command to maximize the pieces oh, across the you got me. I get it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure you have to resolve each command space fully before you move on to the next one. No, the it, it reads like the opposite. You do all of the militia placements, then you do the conversion, and it's all part of the one action. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, okay. I think... Huh. Yeah, if you look at the procedure, it seems like if you read top to bottom, that's how it works. Uh, we'll pull this guy out of New York City. Okay. And then stand up, buddy. And attention. Come on. <laughs> attention is militia. <laughs> um, I actually think Washington's fine. I think we're going to convert three of these guys into Continentals. Oh. Is that, Any is that space Patriot no control action. then now, or? It is. Looks like it. It's the seven. Yep. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think that is it. Uh, Fear Ponds, there it is. What do you think, Badger? Well, I think... I could either... You know, if you don't do something down here, the French are going to come, and together they're going to kick your ass. <laughs> I told you to never use that word in front of me. <laughs> it's called bum. <laughs> where I come from. <laughs> oh. Yep. All right. I'm coming. Uh, so marching one resource. Formation, guys. Come on. There you go. Um, and that's it. Hmm. That's, so, the best part of this game is playing with the cube so that they're in for Yeah, now this is now this is British controlled again. <laughs> yep. Huzzah. Uh okay, great, great. Lots of great. Um okay, so now I need to actually think about the battle procedure a little bit more. Uh, you want to know the dice here? Well, I can I can get us to three dice versus three dice, and actually, Garrick probably could do persuasion or something before battle or whatever the thing that removes skirmish. Anyway, 
uh you you can't skirmish or partisans in a space you're battling in oh really yeah that's what i mean by it's it's like it's perpendicular oh, like you, you cannot stack these things together you have to do different things huh that's cool oh yeah i didn't notice that any but not in a battle space yeah you know this that's game is hard cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool though i really like this. this game is very hard all right well so anyway i uh i'm okay i'm going to play treaty of alliance hey you're joining the game this thing yes exactly <laughs> um so i get a free muster which is going to place four regulars uh in oh shoot no i can't muster in there because it's not really in controls dang it yeah, that was yes. the, that was half of the point. Yeah, that was. Now, Drew, you do get to choose who you ally with, so you have to declare <laughs> that. <now. laughs> hmm. All right. Well, never mind that. Uh, I think it probably would have been like roughly even odds if I'd parked in here, but I can't, so that's okay. That's what the nice thing about controlling all the cities. You can go to the West Indies, too. I can, yeah. So, Georgia, Massachusetts. That's oh, you know what? We should. Options. Uh, we don't actually need to, Garrick. It's probably just easier to count the remaining deck. Uh, I have an easier time just counting this way, but whatever. Okay. Uh, 22. Cool. Yeah, well, yeah, there's once we get down to 22 or technically 23 then we'll know the cards coming. Anyway. Uh The reason counting from this way is hard is cuz you have to remember how many how early the previous winter card came up. Mm. Because like th we've played four cards this season, but if we had an early winter last season, then four cards could be just at the very beginning of the next set of ten, even though it looks like it's four cards in already. It always used to throw me off, so I switched to counting the deck instead of the discard pile. Oh, this is a bummer. His uh, brilliant stroke is going to place three British regulars. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, and they come from, uh, they come from unavailable first, and then if necessary from available. Yeah. And you don't have any in unavailable, so I don't think they get placed. Oh, I think I could still pull. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure I do the pulling, and they're well. Eh, you don't have an, yeah, yeah, you don't have anything in unavailable or available, so I think it's because I'm doing the action I would choose to pull off the board. Mm. Oh, maybe I should pull off the board. That would be funny. That might be funny. What's the order of that? I'm looking. Uh, yeah, that comes after. That comes after the muster. Dang it. All right. Okay. Well, anyway. Uh. So. Yeah, oh, factions man. when executing a command, special activity, or event. To place their own forces may take them from anywhere else. Oh, that does not say Brilliant Stroke. Well, Brilliant Strokes are events. It's just an event, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but my confusion is just that I'm the one executing it, so do I have the choice to do that, or do you have the choice? Normally, whoever executes the event is the one who makes the decisions, but in this case, I'm not sure. This might be like a weird exception. Anyway, uh, I think, Garrick, I'm going to park in Massachusetts. I don't know if you have any opinion on where you'd like to go spank the British. Uh, I mean, the I feel other like... other option is Georgia. <laughs> uh, you have to... Con it's got to be rebellion controlled, so those are the only two spaces. I mean, maybe or should, West Indies. Maybe you just shouldn't join the war yet. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm coming in. <laughs> it's time. This says the British and French may not do so with regulars, but may with Tories and forts. What? So I can't remove regulars from available? I guess that makes sense. Uh, 
All right, so naval oh. intervention is raised. Um, okay. Yeah, Jugalay, that's kind of my instinct, is just that no no re British regulars go into the West Indies, which is yeah. amazing. Yeah, um, confirmed. I found a and, PGG thread. Okay, great. And I, I would be surprised if it let me remove from the board, because that's strange. Uh, okay, and then I place three French regulars from unavailable, so that's all of my pieces. Very nice. Um, and then I assume that means rebellion controls. Yep. And that's it. Uh, what is the F and I? mean it means this is just limits how many blockades I can have out on the board, right? Yeah, well, it, it equals the number of blockades you put out. So, like right now, it's one. So you will put out one blockade. Oh, yeah. sweet! All right, where are we? Any where are we going? Where are we going? Um, this is where the game gets difficult, as if it wasn't already difficult already. Um. Yeah, so blockades will provide a attacker loss modifier to me if I'm defending. Oh yeah, that's right. So and if I'm attacking, it's a defender loss modifier. So it's just bad. Luckily yep. for you, you have how. I do. I just need to get special activities. <laughs> Uh, oh, you bastard! It also means you can't march into that city, right? I could march. I just can't like do the. You can't do the. Uh, I'm sorry. You can't uh, move right. from city to into that That's city. Right. Yeah. The yeah. march. You yeah. can march normally if you happen to be adjacent yeah. to it. I basically don't have any superpowers anymore. <laughs> I think in the booklet it's it says consider like the Atlantic Ocean just like a TOC an LOC. Yep. Yeah. Yep. LOC. Sorry. Yep. Um, Garrick, what if we do Boston and you, uh, we do a little march in there and one, two punch, kill some, kill Is some it dudes. better to cut off Boston or to cut off NYC? Like swoop through wow. New York and then into NYC? Yeah, but we can't get to New York. The, all this, all this shit's here. <laughs> oh, is that not? To Can... New York, you're walking, dude. You're not swooping anything. Well, I mean, I, it's a, it's a slow march, but yes, we go to New York, <laughs> we kill everything there, and then we go into NYC. That's two spaces. Yeah, I don't think the blockade's going to last that long, because he removes it. We'll blockade he... better. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> or you could um, cut off Charlestown, and and, you know, you're not trapped in here with me. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. <laughs> um, I can do that if you want. Actually, that's probably the best thing because it might actually make this an even battle. No, yeah, it won't. He still has one more. Well, he's you're you're rolling two. It is three, but that gets you a lot of modifiers. It seems like no, it just gets you one. But that's yeah, it's a, yeah. I don't know. We'll do Charleston. So that's it for me. I did the events. Mm. Badges up. I think you just do the brilliance. Oh, wait. And, uh, yeah. and then everybody just goes back to... May trump any brilliant stroke all factions eligible. I think that's only if you trump yeah. all factions get eligible. Uh, I don't know about that. Let me check. I think okay. you just play the brilliant stroke. You're the only guy that does it, and then everybody goes eligible, and then... Well, hmm. Yep, it's the it's the same thing here, like on our our cards. It's, yeah, after separate. after any brilliant stroke, all factions are moved to eligible, including the faction that. Oh, played so it. you don't you don't actually act on the brilliant stroke, right? No, right. it's just that's you, just you it. Get and the it's chance done. to. Yep. yep. Oh, interesting. So what you could called? wait. So including me, like I go to eligible too. Yes, yes. you do. Wow! So you can set up. Two actions in a row with brilliant strokes. That's it's nuts. Bonkers, that yeah. is not something you can do in any other coin game. I love it. Yeah. And what's great is you have another brilliant stroke. So you could. Right. Yeah. Having two is right now. <laughs> Except that one can be trumped. Oh, yeah. It's getting trumped. I am going to, because I don't like this card at all. I'm Wait, going to use... Oh, okay. You're doing it. Sorry. I'm okay. going to use my brilliant stroke right now. Wait. Uh, okay. 
Badger, is that too early? No, I don't think so because I don't want. Oh, are all the brilliant strokes the same? They totally are. That's lame. <laughs> no, what your commands are different, though. Yeah, so, that's true. That's a fair point. Kind of not the same, but yeah. Okay, maybe maybe it is good because then we'll have a double turn right after. Yeah, and I don't want to. Oh get... heck yeah, that's the plan. That's the yeah. play. That's the thing to do. So <laughs> yes, Jugalay, yeah. I do want it more complicated. <laughs> more complicated is always better <laughs> and that's why is... campaign for north africa is the best game in existence so yeah I that's have right to... we're streaming that next week right yeah and uh every week thereafter for the rest of our lives for the rest of our lives <laughs> <laughs> so i have to do something where corn planter is and i will do a gather there and he only uses up one all right where's, where's your where's your brilliant stroke what are you doing it goes down here yep uh oh my gosh <laughs> I gotta Big turn off question. hands, dude. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> you can just hit H to to hide it. But does that disable it? I mean, it's it's not completely disabled, but it won't be at the bottom of your screen at all times to to pull stuff into it. Okay. Heck yeah. Thank you. And then I will do another gather here. Nice. He's technically preparing for Garrick too. I like it. <laughs> Hang on. He and... does not have a special ability that's called no, prepare for Garrick. So <laughs> nice try. All preparing for Garrick right now. <laughs> I could make some jokes and I'm not going to. And then. Oh, come on. I will just trade here, and I'm assuming this I don't is a Christian stream, Drew. Money, so, <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. Your 10 p.m. on a Saturday <laughs> with, with a little Baphomet plush in the background. This is a Christian stream. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got. Not gonna lie, I was expecting a little bit more. Um, yeah, that's what she said. There we go. <laughs> hey. Any one faction ineligible through next card. Oh, what are we waiting for? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, Badger. <laughs> yeah. If you take the event, make Garrick ineligible. I could then take the event in the next card and turn his militia into Tories. Thus, winning this war. <laughs> <sighs> okay, maybe I'm I'm a it's the galaxy brain strategies and this smooth brain <laughs> it's not thinking of all the all the things. Uh the problem with galaxy brain is at some point it wraps all the way back around to smooth yes. brain <laughs> and it's hard to find that line. <laughs> I mean, okay, so if I it said command special activity Hey, we need we need more uh, war parties everywhere. I'm not able to do things. I need more turns. Um, can we? I'm just gonna go uh, 
to bed for the night, and then when we come back when I come back in the morning, you'll be ready for your turn. Uh, <laughs> I'll take your turns for you, Garrick. Don't worry. We will win this war for sure. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure we will. <laughs> yes, we <laughs> will. States of France. This is going to gonna happen when you come back. Uh. Okay. That seems good. I'm sure Benjamin Franklin would be happy with that outcome. Yeah. Yeah, I will would. drop. All right. Using the how ability. Lower F and I. Get this thing out of here. Um, and then I will. I will skirmish for my special activity. Skirmish here. And. For my command, I will march, I guess. So I'll march here. Let's march here. I don't even know why I'm marching. I can't battle, can't battle. Okay, that's fine. Oh, can I can I skirmish in a march? Yes, I can. Yeah, you can skirmish and march. Okay. Yeah. Heck yeah. So that's um I'm actually just gonna do one space. One space to march and then special activity here. Uh I will march. I actually don't need it's only in destination spots that we check the Tory and regular rule, right? So like I can move three Tories by themselves. They're moving by themselves, but is, the are you sure about that? Place. You can't. Yeah, they have to accompany the regulars. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they need to accompany. Yeah, it's just through the entire process. Okay. All right, I'll do that, and then um, so one and one, and then I will kill two or one regular to destroy two continentals with okay. my skirmish. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, so I don't think that's two. Oh, that goes to casualties. Oh, so, right, right, right. Uh, one and then. No. It can come from Boston too if it's a destination. Oh yeah, that's right. I think they're just gonna chill. Um, all right, Indians. I have to pass because I can't let that event happen. There. Yep. Well, won't the... F won't I don't I trust the French not to screw me is what I'm saying. Yeah. Won't they make you ineligible, though? I don't know. Okay. Garrick. <laughs> <laughs> this is not how I thought this was going to be. Um, why I have so many cubes in New Jersey. <laughs> that place sucks. <laughs> <laughs> One population. Yeah, I think that was my first move of the game was to to muster there and then they just haven't done anything. <laughs>
Well, Garrick, what would you like to do? I'm thinking about it. Because I can probably facilitate things. <laughs> Maybe. No, it's what I was afraid of. Um... That's a good point. Yeah, Chugale, that's definitely where my head's at. What what are your ideas, Drew? Um well I if you pass, I could march this big ass <laughs> fleet or horde of things over to New York. And on your turn, you can battle in New York. And we will almost certainly wipe them. Well, let's see. One, two. Yeah, they're, Wait, they're rolling. Yeah, we got a pretty good shot. They're rolling one die, unless the fort gives dice. Hey, no, just as a modifier. Just a modifier. OK. Yeah, so we're rolling. We'd roll three dice to their one. And we'd have <laughs> two leaders floating around. Um. Let's see. Oh, wait, we actually we wouldn't be. No, we would be able to get nine because I could. Right. Yeah, because the two militia are there. So I, I, I move all four of my regulars. I can take four continentals with me. Yeah. Which is eight pieces. And then the two regular reg, or militias give us one extra. Uh, they get us up to nine for for the three dice. Yeah. So we'd roll three dice. We'd have plus three between our two leaders and the George Washington bonus. Um, We have a fort. So that's a minus one. Or plus one. The whole plus one versus minus one thing is very confusing to me right now, but it's it <laughs> it's just <laughs> modifiers after the roll, and you just gotta you just gotta realize that the defender loss level modifiers are for the attacker, and the attacker loss level modifiers are for the defender. Well, and I don't understand why they put leader on the attacker side, but then Washington is always on the the defender side as a minus one instead of a plus one. Anyway, it all it all well because it, it lowers your loss instead of increasing the losses you inflict. It's like a defensive strategy. Oh, I agree though. It, that it is a good point. No, like that it. is a good point. That is a good point. Yeah. Anyway, so so that's one option. We could march in enough to get three dice, and then you could battle in New York as a follow up. Um, I'm praying for snow, Badger. I'm just looking up at the sky, man, just praying for snow. You're... Oh, you might get snow. <laughs> oh, that would be I'm funny. I'm hoping, man. Winter's coming. Uh, I mean, we could do the same with Boston. Uh, no, I do prefer, New York, as I previously Sprite mentioned, important. New York and then a potentially sweeping into NYC. Yeah, Sweet. this is already at a pose, too, so it's less important. Exactly. Than... Yeah, and it's also a one. Yeah, so that that's what I'm thinking. The other thing I could do is just take the events and make Badger ineligible so that you go first on the next card. <laughs> but it would have to whatever you're planning on doing with a full command and a special would have to be worth it to me, obviously. Yeah. My I, I am concerned about Charlestown down here in addition to wanting to do that campaign we're discussing up north. So I'm trying to think about how best to balance those concerns. <laughs> Uh, I love it. Hmm. I love the talk, guys. It really feels like you guys are <laughs> generals trying to win this war. <laughs> this war. No, really, it's 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 entertaining. Do we go for the swoop strategy or the turtle strategy? <laughs> or do we fuck over the Indians. <laughs> I mean, you always fuck over the Indians, right? Yep. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I'm just I'm just worried about the like leaving it just ignoring Charlestown. That seems bad. Given that's currently mm. the only center of of resistance operations in the south. <laughs> other really <laughs> other Indians. <laughs> other Indians. Don't worry. <laughs> Lantern Strat goes south. Yep. The south is their economic backbone. We break that, we break them. Wrong war, Hector. <laughs> Wrong what? <laughs> no, never mind. It was a dumb joke. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb jokes. That's what we're all here for at the end of the day. <laughs> I don't understand how you guys are so rich. Because I haven't taken a turn this round yet. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've done like one thing that gave me resources or something. Uh, yeah, you, you took Martha and then they gave you five resources. That <laughs> yeah. Was the only thing you've done. It's the only yeah. thing I've done. This is my first turn, which is why I'm like, I'm thinking about it so much. I thought I was about to go through this whole round not taking an action. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, look, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? You have a fort down here. I mean, the worst that can happen is it gets wiped. No, it's not going to get wiped. He's rolling three dice and you're rolling um, one. One. But you've okay. got a modifier, a fort Negative modifier. Yep. Um, he's got a leader modifier. Uh, you have the underground modifier. Uh... Badger, you're richer than me. What is going on? <laughs> Yeah, maybe we. I think we go wreck shop in New York because, like, the problem with with doing if I march that... now, then he could wipe you here, but then he's just letting us wipe him there, and so the the other issue with this is it lets Badger activate the event. Uh. Oh, you're right. So we, we, we kind of need to block that somehow, <laughs> either taking the current event or uh, brilliant stroking Edward Hands away. Well, you have a brilliant stroke. I do. Uh. <laughs> Dude, is that a cloud? No. <laughs> And actually, that would solve both of your problems because you can brilliant stroke to do a limited battle in New well, York and then a limited muster in Charlestown. It solves my problems unless unless Hector decides to to counter stroke. He can I trump have to me. Be eligible. Oh, you have to be eligible. That's right. Yeah, he has got to be eligible. Uh, um, that, so unless you're worried about me counter stroking you, <laughs> I I do not feel worried about that. So I guess that pretty much solves my issue, and I pass. And then you should maybe. Move our stuff into it's not New York. About who's stroking who, guys? Let's come, come on. Derek. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Don't forget your past money. Thank you. Whose team are you on, Badger? Come on. Uh, I'm just trying to, you know, keep the stream keep the stream error free. We're probably past that point, but that, that went out the window as soon as I started explaining it's... what was going on. <laughs> I mean, when everybody's stroking everybody, it's best just to lend a hand. Yeah. <laughs> huh. uh, okay, I'll I'm marching. I'm marching into New York. Okay. Um, no. I have four pieces, which means I can take four Continentals with me and four Skerrick to pay one resource. Yep. So that's what we'll do. Oh shoot! Can I bring Washington? You can. I don't know if I can. No. You can't. You no. You definitely can. Okay. We will. I will. I'll trust you. But. 
because I want to bring Washington. <laughs> a leader can follow any unit of its faction anywhere it goes on the map during any command or event. Okay. That makes it seem pretty clear. Yep. I don't, I cool. don't think so, Chugalai. I think whoever's moving the pieces. But I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're just going to agree anyways. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree uh, anyway. I consent. Did you spend your resource, Gary? I did, yes. Cool. All right, well, that's that. I'm done. Like it. All right, on to the next card. Or are we? And it's not winter quarters. Get wrecked. Oh, no. I was really hoping for winter. All right, Garrick. Yeah, uh, I'll go ahead and... Time to stroke oh, off. Man. Yep, so brutal. stroke off. This is terrible. Um, I'm going to trump. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, I'm not even eligible. Hector, would you like to... No, Hector can't. That's right. He, he's not uh, eligible yeah. so, Only Badger can, and Badger already used his. Yep. So, two free limited commands and one special activity in any order. Uh, let's just go ahead and... Oh, well, wait. I, so, Garrick... I bet you, uh, hang on, let me think about this. What's the wording on it? Because these are two limited commands, I wonder if the restrictions apply on like skirmish being in battle spaces. Because traditionally limited commands are not paired with special abilities. So normally if you do that, if you get an event that says like do limited commands and special abilities in whatever order, they're yeah, not. Yeah, I, I think you can just do if you want to. So do yeah, I think you I think in this here. one case you could skirmish in battle in Charlestown. Or uh or uh yeah, yeah, in New York. I'm not convinced by your argument. I mean I'm not either, but it is a possibility. <laughs> I, I think you can because you you do a limited command. You know, then that's done. Then you do another limited thing. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it seems like three separate thing. things. Each command and special activity is independent, but still allows a common cause special activity to affect a march or battle command on the same brilliant stroke card. So basically, they're independent unless common cause wants them to be dependent. Um, right. <laughs> All yep. right. Okay. So it sounds like you can skirmish and battle. That's the one exception. Yeah. Which feels feels right for a brilliant stroke that that is uh that does the one time you get to do that yeah uh gosh and everyone's going eligible this is terrible well <laughs> i know okay let me just resolve this rally down there while i'm thinking about it uh Can't you're gonna rally and then i guess probably replace those with uh, what are they called? Continentals? Because I can? Yep. Yeah. Alright, and then... Actually, Garrick, you might want to not. Um, because... And again, I'm still very confused about the modifier charts, but I'm pretty sure... Uh, where is it? Hmm. Yeah, so if if half of the defending cubes are regular. Oh no, that's the attacker loss. No, okay, never mind, ignore me. Yeah. And continental continentals are not regular, so Yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay, so yeah, ignore me twice. I will ignore you. Okay. Uh up here, uh we're battling, but first we may be doing a special. This is bonkers. <laughs> I know you saved my ass earlier, Badger, but I wish you wouldn't have played the Brilliant Stroke. <laughs> it's not like I could have saved it for raiding because I didn't really have money. What do you have up there? You've got oh, yeah, you're right. You're no, just about just to be more. online too. Like you're you're just about to just churn out war parties. Yep. Oh. Okay. Well, we'll see we what have... happens. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like he still needs a fort to win, so he's not going to win yes. this winner. He's going to probably knock me out of New York, which is not ideal.
I'm going to mute myself, guys. I, got, I have some choice words to say. <laughs> oh, man. I think we've uh, crossed the point of... We've crossed that point already. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right. You are not a nice person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to determine whether to skirmish or partisans right now to explain what's happening. Um... Because it seems like I can do either of them. Oh, yeah. uh, and the difference is basically I can either remove uh, a cube just flat out. I could remove two cubes and a, and a continental. I could remove a cube for an activation. No, that's not worth it. I could remove one of the two. Remove two. No, that's not worth it. So basically I'm skirmishing. Yeah, I think skirmishes are better. So it's a question of do I remove one cube or do I remove two cubes in one of my own? If I remove two in one of my own, I think that drops it down to zero dice for Hector. I, I think the fort still counts. Oh, does it? Ending, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you look here, the defending. Yep. yep, you're right. Uh, yeah, and if you remove a piece, you're only rolling two dice, whereas currently you're rolling three. Um, rolling. I'm not rolling three right now. Uh, the the eight two the three. eight cubes gives eight strength, and then the two militia give. I'd have to activate both one of them extra for them to add half each. Yeah. Oh, is is a third die better than the hidden militia modifiers? The real question. Yes, it feels because like it almost always modifiers is. just plus one, so a die will at minimum roll okay. one. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you should activate both of them, and then you That's get the fair. three dice. All right, yeah, we'll just remove a cube, um, which I guess will be a regular because they're stronger than Tories, as I recall. Yep, that moves us up. Yeah, they take two Five. losses. Okay, uh, so battling, I guess I will activate the militia for three dice. My men, is, my men are scared. Their morale hangs on a thread. <laughs> you get one die. Uh, Modifier-wise, uh, do what have we got? Attacker lost level is fine. Okay, uh, half the defending cubes are regulars? No, because no. you killed one. Uh, no, there's no leader. There is a fort, so it is plus one for the fort. Defender lost level. Um, you guys plan that perfectly. Half are regulars. There's not an underground piece. There is one leader. Um, per defending fort is negative one. And that's it. It's one on one. Okay. So I thought if I roll a three and you roll ones, it's even. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Make ready. Make ready. Oh, doesn't really hurt. <laughs> they hit each other. They hit in the oh, air. I love it. That's, that's brutal. Oh, that is a beautiful roll. <laughs> All right. It, count. <sighs> it counts. Eight, okay. so eight, eight to two, touchy, I guess. Eight and two, yep. Uh, so this is two. This is one. This is sorry. That's three. This is four. And then that's the rest. It's that yep. And then we're taking two. Uh, wow. That's a just a French. Yeah, just a French. I was making sure I could do the French, and I could. So this is plus four. Wow. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, and then um, Washington just rallies everyone in New York. Yep. Is active oppose. So yep. you lost five pieces? Yeah. Which is two, which already makes it max, but Washington technically makes it four. Yep. Can, oh. you, oh. can you use the can you use the Yeah, the there's the bleed then? over. There's the bleed over, yeah. Uh, I mean, bleed over. Yeah, there's a bleed over yeah. if you exceed. I gotta if check you what your wording use, is. If you can't use them where you are, you get to use them adjacent, which kind of really sucks. But you mean kicks butt? <laughs> um. Okay, so we have two bleed over then. 
If all shifts are not possible in the battle space, uh, British or Patriots may use remaining shifts in adjacent spaces. Uh, how many how many more shifts do we have? Two, two. more. Two, yeah, two overflow. Hmm. Do we just shift? Wait, uh, hang on. Uh, it's so it's three times two. That's six. Wait, really? Yeah. Right, it's half the number of units lost. Half the number of pieces you those are removed, four. rounding no, down to a max four. to a max of three levels. Uh, Washington can double to no more than six. Oh no, okay, so Washington does raise the max. Okay. Yeah, That's four. you only lost you only lost four pieces. Oh, okay, sorry, oh, this was two. already there. Yeah, I, those were already there. So they've got two more. Yeah, two overflow. Here. Um. And then, oh, smokes, you and then they get a free out. rally. Oh shit, do I really? Wait, what? Really? Free rally? What's all this noise? Ah, oh, you're right. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Um. Oh, is that the brilliant stroke? No, yeah. it's, it's, it's part of the win the day. If rebellion winner, patriots may free rally in any one eligible space. And French may move any blockades from the battle city to another city. I kind of want to just shift uh, Pennsylvania. It can be annoying. Okay. He could win. And then we check rallies. Uh, or I do the rally. Um, Any one eligible space. What does it mean by eligible space? Any place where you can rally, I think. Yep. Any space without active support. Charlestown. Charlestown. Can I, can Charlestown. I do it in Charlestown? I mean, I, yeah. I rallied there already this this turn with a separate... I guess it's yeah. a limit. Yep. I guess it's separate. It's totally separate. All right, sure. Yeah. Chugale is spamming Pat's OP, so I'm assuming that's a hard <laughs> yes. I'm just too good, boys. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all of it. That's everything. Uh, that's Rebellion. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Still British control. Dang it. Is it really? Uh, it's 9 to 10. Yes. Yep. Yeah. All right, well, I think that's my brilliant stroke, and it was brilliant. Yep. So, on to the next one. And it's winter quarters. Oh, no. <laughs> Can I brilliant stroke a winter quarters? <laughs> you cannot. It's too cold to stroke. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, check for victory. Um, I think Derek's got it. Do I have I it? I could have. I. No, I I was going to brilliant Thanks stroke and try villages, and steal I the think. victory. Yeah, that's what I think. What? Yeah. It's, it's so, zero. Oh, right, because you have six. I'm reading it backwards. Yep, yep. Too many villages by a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Are you insinuating, <clears throat> Chugalay, that I haven't been playing Masterful? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Supply. Don't answer that. <laughs> Actually, Drew doesn't win, does he? Yeah, quick, ban him. <laughs> <laughs> Before he no, can. the the uh... yeah, they're even. Okay. No, I needed yeah. uh, I needed you to lose one less somehow piece. All according or to no plan. Way. Yeah. Oh wait, hang on. No, yeah, he did two losses, which is enough to kill a piece. Yep. Okay. Uh, supply. Uh, British cubes. They have a fort or a city with control. Oh, yep. Yeah. So it looks like here uh, and here. Oh my gosh. I can't afford this stuff. Let me just flip this thing, Garrick. <laughs> That's fine. 
Is it locked? Yeah, these these ah, are we on. There's I can't do anything with them. I'm just so poor right now. This one, uh, I guess I have to pay since it's active oppose already. I can't move it. Okay. And I think that's it. I think everything else has a fort. Forts immediately go back to available. Okay. Uh, Patriot, Militia, and Continentals. Uh, let's see. Forts. Why do I have to lose my leader again? <laughs> this seems unfair. <laughs> uh, colony or city with control. If not, okay, so let's see. I've got forts and control. I've got control. Uh, this does not have control. This is not... only... Yeah. It, you're fine if it's just one piece. If it's just one, yeah. Uh, so I think Charlestown's the only one left I have to worry about. But it has a fort. So oh, it has a fort. That's right. There it is. All right, I'm good, Len. Must be nice. Uh, French regulars. You have to be. I'm also in good. Space. Damn it. Uh, Indians. Uh, you have to move or pay. This guy's gotta get back here. That's it. Okay, West Indies. French must conduct free battle. I don't have enough. <laughs> nothing to battle so. this world yeah god okay uh we are now in the resource phase uh british fourth plus population of british controlled cities one two three four five six seven eight eight plus four is twelve okay uh half the number of villages rounded down so you get three uh, forts plus half the number of rebellion controlled spaces. Uh, I have three forts, and it looks like I only have three spaces, so it's going to be four total resources. Nice. Uh, French, uh, F and I level plus the population of cities not British controlled. Zero, uh, zero, and then plus five for controlling West Indies, which I already there grabbed. You go. All right, support phase. I may spend resources to build support in British controlled spaces with regulars and Tories. Mother of God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm um, starting here. I'll do Qu Quebec. Why the fuck not? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll do it over here in Boston, too. Uh, is there a limit? Maximum two levels. Yeah, so I'll do it in Boston for two. I'll go ahead and do it in Charlestown for two. Um, yep, and I think that's all I can do. Better check the totals. Thanks. 11 to 19. Uh, and then committees of correspondence. Yes, uh, I don't believe there's anything I can actually do because New York uh, and Massachusetts are maxed and I have no peace. Oh, I have a piece in Georgia. Ah, yeah, we'll get that up. <laughs> You'll get that up, will you? Oh, I will. Even after all this stroking off, you're still ready to go, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Secret is a little blue pill. I, I can't concentrate, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, committee's correspondence. Game end? Question mark? No. Uh, redeployment phase. Uh, so the leader change happens with Badger. Um, and then he gets to uh, redeploy the leader. The French gets to redeploy the leader after the Indians. Oh, that guy looks badass. What does he do? Dragon canoe. Raid may move one extra space. Hell yeah. For a second, I thought you said dragon canoe. And I was like, holy shit. What, what a badass. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what he said too. <laughs> um, okay, so French, you can move your leader to any space with... Oh, I think with French 
pieces, so he's staying put. Yep. Then it's me. Um, how I think is going to stay put. Uh, Patriots? Yeah, I think Washington's probably staying put. He's chilling? I don't know. I'm a little tempted to send him down to Charlestown. That might be foolish. It's probably better to stick on, on plan and, and stomp into New York City. Okay. Yeah. Um, ooh, that I may have. I probably should have moved hell. Um, and then we are doing desertion. Yeah. Oh, we got to move his casualties now. We just piece some available. No, no, no. Okay. It's later. We're up in high level. We're good there. Um, okay. Patriot desertion. One in five militia and continentals. You have a lot of pieces out on the board. Yeah. So he's going to lose two militia. Two militia and two continentals. Yes, 16 on the board. And I pick first and the first. 14. He has 14 on the board. Get him where it hurts, dude. I, have, two, I technically four, have 12 five, six, on the board seven, by my eight. count, but uh, doesn't matter. Yeah, oh, sorry. I was 14 continentals. Um, 12 militia, right? I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Uh, he did his job. And this guy. Then I need to lose one more of each. Right? I think so. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, if you have 12 and 14, it's two of. Two of each. Yeah. Let's lose. Uh, 12, 13. 12. I got lose two. Fuck. Yeah, you have exactly 10 Tories. <laughs> 6, 13. I think I have 12. Let's just lose some stuff from Massachusetts. Well, two are in the casualties box. Oh, you're right. So yeah, 10 on the map. All right, I'm done. Okay, uh, so he's got to lose two. I pick the first one. I pick it from New York City. You. <laughs> <laughs> okay, South Carolina go is going away. Oh, that hurt. Okay. Um, oh, and in... Yeah, it's just stories. All right, reset phase, remove raid propaganda, all eligible casualties to available. Uh, reveal top card and then resolve the winner effect, which is if CRC is CBC, five resources. Aww. It is not. Oof. Else, five resources for. British. Dang. Yes, that's kind of big. That is. Uh, hell yeah. Okay. That is big. Yeah, you needed that. <laughs> yep. I don't know how you guys are feeling, but I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> You're back at attention. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's uh, that's that, right? Yep. yep, we're we're good to go. Are we pushing on or how are people doing? I'm good. I'm at I'm, good. I'm at a ten right now. I am livid <laughs> and excited. I'm so surprised I survived that last winter. <laughs> um, but we could call it here. I know it's like later for you. It is later for me. I'm not tired enough, but at the same time, I should probably try. And I'm trying to think how many more. How many winter quarters do we have in the deck total? Is There's it... only two left. Okay, it's probably so better to... halfway through the deck. It's probably better to stop here than to potentially go through one more and then have only a single round left, potentially. Yeah, yeah that's true. This seems like a clean cutting point. I mean, you just gotta... Somebody's just gotta win this, uh, this campaign. Easy peasy. Come on, Garrick. <laughs> I've been trying, man. Every round. <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> Every winter quarter, he's been really close. <laughs> yep. Yep. 
I've yeah, started popping I'm surprised out. the uh, the kill count kind of evened up there. We've literally only had two battles, so yeah, but they've been big. They have been big battles. It's yeah. true. This it's game's really game. interesting. I, I like the battles. They're, they're very punchy. Um, I think they're they have a big effect. It's just scary. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Um, I think I think I might have a slight preference for something like Falling Sky, where there's a lot a lot more smaller battles. But I I do really like the way this game is feeling in general, the tempo of the game and the where the focuses are. It's all appealing to me quite a lot. Yeah, I, I do like the team aspect. Yeah, it's like having you two discuss your order of operations with the eligibility was, was like, oh, yeah, that's that's how you do that. I'm, I'm sure there's some of that in the Indian British team, but I think uh, it behooves the Indians to really be low on war parties and just try to get churn out villages and then at the end just spawn a whole bunch. And mm -hmm. then hopefully we come online after like after that. I don't know. He's rich, so uh, <laughs> I'm hoping for <laughs> a whole horde of war parties next. Well, I'm pretty sure you'll see a bunch of war parties with my next Yeah. <laughs> but the Frenchies can do their thing, so. Yep. yep. Yes. All right. Yeah, this, this, one, this one is an odd duck, and it's, it's a cool game. I like it. Oh, really? It's very I, strange as a coin. I thought you were being so quiet because you were not as enthused about it. Uh, I mean, I really, I need to see it play out a little bit more. And I'm, you know, I probably should play it a few times um, with multiple sides. Like, I'm really curious to see now the Indians because they also seem like they just have not a lot to do <laughs> or, yeah. or not a lot of ways to, like, actually influence the game, which feels kind of lame. Feel? Uh. <laughs> The French actually are really interesting because they, once they come online, they're like crazy badass. Like my, my capabilities on the rest of the cards are, are really, really solid. So they, they feel like a full faction, even if they start really slow. Yep. Um, we'll say in the Indians defense that the raid in North Carolina the first time and then the villages here. Now, yeah, that, that was a, that was a cool that's, thing. That I mean, that's otherwise Garrick wins. So. I mean, yeah, no, you just sort of have to bide better. your, you just sort of have to bide your time, and now I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I I just think like yeah. about half of the coins have like a really kind of boring lame faction that people don't really want to play as much as the other ones, and this one is definitely one of those coins, and I I feel like the Indians are the most boring of like the boring factions <laughs> that I've seen so far, which is well, I've seen all of them, I guess, at this point. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. That That's kind of like a knock against it, but it's doing a lot of really interesting stuff that no other coin is doing, and I appreciate it. But it's definitely not Duck, so I don't, I'm not really sure what I think of it yet, basically. <laughs> yeah, like, I think for the French, I, I think you also don't have a lot of things to do, but you're so, like, invested in what the Patriots are doing that you're just in that conversation, whereas I don't think that's the same for the Indians. Yeah. They're just like making no, sure because I can't right. I can't really yeah. do much. Yeah. I think you asked me for money once and I was just like I opened well, up my you, pocket. You had no you had no out. money yeah. to give. And I, I really didn't want the money because it you needed it. So Yeah. Um Yeah, and that that's that was my sense is I was like I was surprised at how much influence I felt like I had on the game in the first uh, you know, season campaign and a half, even with just like literally two actions. Like uh, there was a lot of interesting stuff, and I like I was having to make. They were really minor, but I was still having to make decisions about, like, do I fund Garrick more or do I just put pieces down? And like, there's some nuance to when you need to do one of those over the other, yeah. and it like I still, it it's still in, like it's surprisingly engaging to play the French at least for. You know the first, you know one or one or two campaigns, and yeah, like you said, I, for a little bit, you're like, no, Garrick's gonna win. I'm not gonna yeah, give him money. No, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like I had to, 
I had to tighten the purse strings at one point. Yeah. But, you know, they were they were surprisingly fun. And then, like, now, obviously, I'm on the field, and I have a lot of influence on the game. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it they're, they're a lot cooler than I expected them to be. But then the Indians are a lot lamer than I expected them to be. But I need to actually play them. So if we play it again, I'll probably pick the Indians and see the, what they're like from the inside. This scenario sort of takes a little bit of the tension away from the French early, too, because... It seems like in the the long scenario, it's not as easy as you think necessarily to get the French prep up. Oh yeah, I assume I assume it starts at zero in the long scenario. Yeah, it starts or like at zero somewhere down there, and yeah. depending on how things go, you you might have to spend a lot of time just keeping the rebellion alive, which yep. doesn't allow you to to get ready to go. So there's a there's a balance there. What uh? What are the Indians like at the start of the long scenario? Um, I think it's kind of the same situation. Kind of in the same situation, except they're not. Yeah, they're the, not. The thing about the Indians is right away. they're sacrificing a lot of their units just to get villages out, um, and they're realistic. They're pretty safe because they're in the reserve. Um, but it's just so much tempo. Just you know, I put out two war paths. I. I changed two war paths to a village, but now that he's, it, it seems like he's at max village count. This is the part of the game where he has he has to actually settle in these spaces. Start, yeah, start yeah. pushing yeah. back. He's stacking yep. limits up here. Well, that was sort of why I was asking because I wonder if if like I, I didn't feel like you could start any really worse than you started, which tells me that maybe that that um, uh, that like preamble to the actual meat of the indians game uh which is going to start now would start where we started normally if we did a long scenario you know what i mean yeah yeah so i, w I wonder if the the indians game is meatier in the long scenario is the 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 very hmm. roundabout through line i'm getting to i'm also wondering if i should actually build a fort in a reserve to kind of like accelerate your push towards the colonies. Is that a thing? Well, it takes up a stacking limit space yeah, that's, for them. That's, that's that's what I was thinking. Yes. I don't know. Yes, that's not a I don't think you're making a lot of friends with the Indians <laughs> by doing that. <laughs> but that's maybe you. But historically that's... historically the deal was Yes. They wanted, you know, the the Parliament set the limit at the Appalachians and said and that's what they told the Indians. Well, we're telling our people not to go west of there. So then all yep. of a sudden you started throwing forts up there. It's like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I thought you guys, we don't need your help. We'll yeah. just keep trading you furs and you keep giving us muskets. And like, I, I mean, me personally, I, I, I see some of the issues with this game. Like, I guess it is a little unbalanced for the British. I don't know. I'm not at that level yet, but. It's just like a complete package for me. Like the battles are impactful and suspenseful. The map is gorgeous, and just you know the, uh, the map is really time nice. period it's is just like the best map. You know, so it's a hard string. <laughs> so there's a lot of little bits about the game that are making me like it too. Like the 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 tempo of the deck, the way like winter quarters come out like almost right on top of each other with how small the 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 stacks are. Yeah. It yep. it gives the game like a breakneck feel, and then I really like how focused on opposition support this game is. Yeah, like control matters, but not nearly in the way that like support opposition does, which is very cool. Yeah, and that the supply in the winter quarters is just so brutal. That's just something that you're constantly thinking about. Yeah, yeah, like, I love yeah, there's I a little bit of. Out. There's a little bit of a supply line aspect in this game, which I love. Yeah. I love how tight the resources are, or at least were at the start. Well, for some of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you, you kept rolling a one every time you did the... <laughs> True. Yeah. There were a lot of ones on my dice, battle and uh, resource-wise. Yeah, you got some bad luck, and I got some good luck, and that this game would be going very differently if those were... There's those a lot of reversed. urban support out there for you yet. For the yeah. British to get. Yeah. 
that was the one thing that I had for me was I did have a lot of the cities kind of at the right time. It's so easy for you to get cities and the, the Patriots are comparatively slow moving to do anything. Yeah. It, it, so now that I'm, I, I played this, I think I need to really um, hammer reward loyalty because I need to block you out from rallying in spaces, which I could do if, I, if it's an active support. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think if I make Charlestown, you know, active support, that would have stopped you from rallying. Oh, could you have one, by the way? If you put a fort down with rally? Uh, one. No, I don't know. Maybe? No, he needed... He needs three more forts down to exceed villages. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I need to go beat up some, some villages. No, he just needs one, doesn't he? No, he needs three more than you, just like you need three more than him. No, it, it's forts plus three, I think. Anyways. Mm, really? Yep. Forts plus three is greater than villages. So Yeah, it's the offset, remember? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're right, yeah. you're right. You're right. Yeah, so if I if I'd thought about the fact that it might, the game was about to hit a winter quarter and done that, I maybe could have won, yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, oh, you definitely would have won. And then I had to oh, deal wait. with this West Indies BS. I don't even know how to I can muster it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It seems like you just can muster in a sp in there, just like any other space. Yeah, it's just a space. You just have to spend some time and and you know troops sending stuff there. Yep. Which yeah, pulls you, you away from how much you want to commit to West Indies rather yep. than yep. Which is very cool. Yeah. It is very cool. Yeah. No, I I think. Uh, this more than any other coin game has so many really cool, interesting, unique details, and I just am not sure if it all like comes together yet. But I'm really liking it so far. <laughs> a lot of interesting stuff going on. I, at the very least, it's like somewhere in the middle of all the coin games, which is fairly impressive. I feel because. Yeah, it's pretty early good. in this series. I've only played like three or four, but this and Pendragon are my top two. Pendragon right is now. the best. <laughs> of them all. Uh, only because it's not a coin game crew. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Only because it's not a coin game. <laughs> uh, well, it's... Yeah, you're right. It's definitely doing probably the most weird, unique things. Yeah. Actually. No, I, I I like that game too. The British fighting two battles and losing is pretty much the hey man. story right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's yeah, that know. is true. I mean, you gotta that's that's their whole that's their whole thing. You know, you're the you're the Death Star. The it was windy. The sun was in my eye. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you stormed right back over to America. Like I'm going to teach y'all a lesson and. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you just got mud in your face. <laughs> it's the Battle of Concord over here, so that's what happened. <laughs> well, yeah, thanks, y'all. Let me uh, shut down the stream. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. We'll be back with this um, maybe like next Friday, uh, something like that. We'll talk about it. Uh, so yeah, we'll see you then. Have a great one.